My name is Seiichi Hiragi. I am a second year in high school. And here's the thing. I have no idea where I am right now. But it's not Earth. I've been confronted with a totally new reality. And I don't know what to make of it. Whoa! Bright light! What's going on? Hallucination, am I sober? Naked chicks don't just fall from the sky and propose to random dorks like me, do they? Not where I come from, that's for freaking sure. The last thing I remember, I was. Hey, what are you doing after this? I don't know. Yeah, man. I was fat and ugly. Didn't feel like bathing. They bullied me to hell. For good reason. I had some deathly BO that made me gag sometimes. Later, pig. See ya! Don't chicken out and skip tomorrow. Huh? Pardon the interruption, students, but you must immediately stop whatever you're doing and take a seat. With that one random, mysterious announcement, everything changed for me. <laughs> stop that! Raise your hand if a god has ever spoken to you through a PA system. First time around, how fun! Does he say god? Am I the only one able to resist it? In the mood for a change of scenery? Because I'm about to take you away from Earth and transport you to another world! There's another world? But don't worry, where you're going, you'll be received as heroes! Really? This has to be a prank. As a parting gift, I've decided to grant each of you the power to check your status at any time you'd like. You're welcome. <laughs> but that's not all. You'll also be granted the appraisal and item box skills. Status? Skills? What, are we being sent to an RPG? You'll be transported in ten minutes. I suggest you form groups if you have aspirations of traveling safely. Now let's begin! Um, what's going on here? Like, do we really all need to group up? Alright, my dudes. I guess we need to do this thing. If this is actually legit, then I'm sticking with you guys. Uh, hey, can I go? <laughs> it really works! This guy's status is wrecked! Check it out! <laughs> what? What status do I have? Let's see here. It says your species is barely human, gender is creepy male, oh. you're 17 years old, you've got a level 1 attack, a level 1 defense, level 1 agility, and mm. level 1 magic attack and defense. Your luck is zero and charm immeasurable? Dude, those stats are so weak! I don't think we should let this kid into our group, man. It says he's barely even human. Wait, how can you trust what that says is real? Your BO is real! Yeah, man, you reek. You get it, okay? You don't have to rub it in. Well then, mm -hmm. shall we begin mm -hmm. transporting? <laughs> How strange. Are you alone? Yeah, I'm the only one here. Hmm, that makes this your moment. I'm prepared to grant you one more special skill. Okay, what kind of skill? Bye bye! I do wish you the best of luck. Oh, wait. <sighs> Seriously? What kind of creepy wilderness did this god guy drop me into? Never mind, I don't want to know. I'm gonna start a brand new adventure here. A new beginning starts today. <sighs> Where are they hiding all the food? It's already been five days and there's nothing happening. Fine, just feed me! Hey, come back here! Oh, don't worry, 
I'm fine. <laughs> I can't believe it! Am I seeing what I'm hoping I'm seeing? It's fruit! <laughs> You're all mine! I'm not sharing you with anybody! It's food! What? what? <laughs> At least I think it's food! Open skill of praise! Seems kinda shady. And I'm over it. Oh, he's gotta eat, right? So <laughs> 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 that was awful. But at last, my tummy's not mad at me. Effects of the fruit of evolution now activating. What? Huh? Whoa! I thought I just heard a voice. Anyone there? Is something gonna happen? Don't do that if nothing's happening! All right. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's see what's next. Oh, right. I almost forgot I'm starving to death. <laughs> Huh? Ah! Those jerks stepped on me earlier. Wait a sec. They're level 120. What? I can't face a bunch of overpowered monkeys when I'm still just level 1! This is not fun or safe. Also, what are they doing? I'm in! Oh, snap! Now that's a find! What if I can't carry them all, though? Oh! Well, I'll use the item box! Think of everything here. Huh? What are these things? Uh, highest grade recovery potions! Score! Come to Seiji! Here we are, another world. Hey, Shota! Oh, there you are! Kenji and Miyu, I'm surprised you were able to find me. Uh, we've been friends forever. It's like instinct at this point, you know? Aw, oh, you guys. So, where is everyone? Hmm? I'm warning you, you're both splitting my last nerve. <sighs> hey, we found you, Kanazuki! Ugh, what's up with those guys? I don't know yet, but apparently Seiichi was transported to an entirely different location all alone. <gasps> I bet that's terrifying. Hope he's okay. This should be edible. Is it safe? <laughs> Question marks? Seriously? Well, there's only one other way to find out. <laughs> Nothing? I didn't poison myself? I'm winning around here. Or maybe not. Ugh, this is so gross. After everything I've eaten this week, I've gained some kind of cool skill and paralysis resistance. I'm guessing that one expired. Then I eat this thing and I end up drenched in puke. But if I'm gonna die anyway, I might as well. Guess this is my last meal. I only have two of the nine fruits of evolution left. What a waste of a name to give something that never even produces the smallest effect. And they're still disgusting! At least my tolerance for them is building up. I'm gonna be frank here, Fruit. You're vile, but you've kept me from starving. So thanks. What? I'm totally fine? Wait a minute, does the Fruit of Evolution keep you from dying? Why the heck did I have to be such a fatty and eat so many? I gotta grow up. Come on, Gag Reflex, activate! Skill, poison resistance acquired. Skill, appraisal increased in rank. Skill, advanced appraisal. What? What did increase in rank? Why am I tasting my own blood? Ew! Gross! Where's that freaking recovery potion? What? You think you're so slick, don't you, you little punk?
heard my VO was lethal, but dang. <laughs> Whoa, what's all this? Clever monkey bone, clever monkey meat, clever monkey pelt? Are these item drops? There are so many of them. Skill, guillotine oh. kick. Skill, instant movement. Skill, superior alchemy. Skill, tool creation, superior, acquired. Huh? For killing the monkey? Uh, clever monkey's knowledge. The clever monkey is a monster species of great intelligence that resides in high-level dungeons. It possesses a natural knowledge of herbs, tool creation, and the sacred art of alchemy. That's incredible. Wait, how am I reading this book? I've never seen this kind of writing before in my life. That makes this your moment. I'm prepared to grant you one more special skill. Was that it? Some kind of complete harvesting skill? Now commencing. Evolution. Huh? Have a what? Oh, my entire existence is pain. Ugh. Ugh. That was weird. What the heck happened to me? Wait! My hands! Am I thin? Oh, this is some kind of joke! What for? Oh, my bones are being crushed! Look, they squeezing my muscles! Oh, I see now. So that was like reverse growing pains. Evolution completed. 1,000 points added to all stats. Huh? To all stats, huh? Let's see here. Mana, attack, defense, agility, magic attack, magic defense, luck? That doesn't make any sense! Why would they suddenly inflate that much when I've hardly used any of them at level 1? Hold on. I only evolved from 0 to 1. That doesn't seem right. Well then consider me fully evolved because I'm not doing that again. Screw this! There's no way I'm still level 1 after defeating a level 120 clever monkey! That's not how math works, you guys! I hate it here! It's been five months since that mess. Yep, I said months. The knowledge I gained from the clever monkey has been seriously working to my advantage. I've been stacking up experience and steadily raising my stats like a boss. As of this moment, I'm... <laughs> I'm about to get torn a new one by a level 311 acro wolf! Instant movement! Guillotine kick! That's weird. I'm way too strong to still be a level one. Uh -huh. Oh snap! I just wiped that thing out! Gathering skill collection. You have acquired Acro Wolf's Fang, Acro Wolf's Pelt, and Acro Wolf's Meat. Skills acquired Twin Fang Attack, Enemy Detection, and Adamant Claws. You are now able to utilize water magic. Uh, why? Legendary Weapon acquired Water Spirit Stagger. Confirmed acquisition of a great deal of experience points. So now we've got the Acro Wolf's knowledge too. That's weird. The Clever Monkey's map did that. It's blurred out in the exact same area. Well, I'll have to investigate all that later. Now commencing evolution. Huh? Oh no! Ah! I completely blocked out this part! Oh, wait! Make it stop! Appraise. Nine evolutions, huh? Only one more to go. What happens when I'm fully evolved? Grand finale of pain? Uh, uh, clever monkeys! They're everywhere! Hello, human. Seems like you're looking for a fight! Quit squealing and fight me! Oh, uh, no thanks. I'll sit this one out. You can't. Yeah, I know. I'm over it. My human rights are being suppressed by a giant pink gorilla. I'll phrase it to make sure I'm not hallucinating. It's over 700! Come on! This is a Kaiser Kong, and the boss of the clever monkeys. I'm guessing it wants revenge. You don't have to worry, human. I promise I won't let anyone else come between us. No, that's not what I was thinking. 
almost done. Say goodnight! Hey! Whoa! What are you doing? Whoa! Ah! Uh, impressive swing you got there! <laughs> Great! What's that look mean? That was my first attack, and, and you dodged me! Ah! Why the heck are you blushing about it? Do you have feelings now? Are you a freaking girl gorilla? <laughs> Strong angry men give me the tingles! Not normal! <laughs> what the heck? That was dangerous! Tell me about it, Gorilla! My turn! You ready? Here's a flash gorilla! <laughs> I'm done! No more! That's amazing! Nobody ever escapes my flash fist alive! So you admit you were trying to kill me? I'm even more thankful you survived now. I truly want a strong man in my life. I'm sorry, I'm not into gorillas. I'm not a gorilla! I'm Saria. What? Huh? I said my name's Saria. I heard what you said! I said what? As in why do you have a name? A pretty girl's name? <laughs> do you really think I'm a pretty girl? Jeez! Oh, when does it end? So the kick didn't work, huh? And it's lost! Uh, not again! Uh, so strong and so skilled! Uh, you really think that about me? Uh, uh, well, that sure was a close one. I almost got Gorilla smashed. A couple more moves like that and it'll defeat itself. Uh, Shouldn't you at least be injured? I don't know what to say. I didn't think you would dodge the air thrust, too. How is she so strong? I've got another idea. All right, well, I didn't want to use magic, but I have no choice. Come to me! Water Spirit's Dagger! That's right, I just hardcore powered up my water magic. And I even reduced the amount of mana it consumes. <laughs> Are you ready? How about we try a full-blown fall disaster? <laughs> well played, Gorilla Girl. Oh no, you brought that on yourself, sir. Don't blame me. Ah! Of course, I'm being called out by a giant monkey. I can't take it. All right, break's over. Let's go! Uh, and flash first! Uh, 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 <coughs> flash first, flash first, flash first, flash first, flash first! Uh, on board for the road! Uh, oh, that's it. I'm dying, aren't I? Your B.O. is real. Yeah, man, you reek. It doesn't matter which school you're at. Just do your best. Seiichi, I swear, you're the most optimistic person I've ever met in my life. <laughs> Come on, think. My skills aren't working and I'm a moron when it comes to using magic. <laughs> what else can I do? There has to be some kind of battles for dummies. <laughs> Time's up. Ciao! Come forth, stage performer! Really? Nothing? Well then, goodbye, cruel world. Ooh. No, not again! I love you. Uh, Let's get married uh, right now. Okay, wait, put me down. We need to discuss this first. Why me? <laughs> Oh, that can't be how it ends! What happened to the hot naked chick that jumped me at the beginning of all this? When did she come back? When do I get out? What will become of my life in this world? <laughs> this sucks. There has to be something I can do to escape from this plot twist. But where would I go? Oh, 
Oh, right! There was that dark spot on the map. If the clever monkeys don't know what's there, then this ape in an apron shouldn't either. Mm. At the very least, it'll get me out of the forest. You? What are you oh. thinking, Cassie? <laughs> Let me guess. You were thinking of me? Stop that! And how is it you can talk? I would have asked sooner, but stuff happens. It's fine. I learned by reading some books I found in a cave one day. Hold on, what cave? Here they are, little lightsabers. <sighs> Daily life magic? Uh, wow. We've got spells for lighting small fires, filling a cup with water, how to dry wet laundry, yada yada. I mean, these are all really useful. What do you use this wash spell for? It does exactly what it says. It removes dirt from your body and makes you feel clean. What? Honestly? That scene should look a little different, otherwise not interesting. Who was in your thing, Bubble? Ah! Would you stop? Daily life magic acquired. And just like that, I learned everything. Seiichi, your food's getting cold. Hurry up and finish it. Quit telling me what to do, bastard. You're so silly. Girls can't be bastards. <sighs> Gorillas like you are bastards! Male or female, you're all bastards! Seiichi, stop calling me a gorilla. I'm sorry. I don't care! You, you stupid! Oh, I get it now. You want to use a nickname, like Honey or Sweet Thang, instead of just plain old Saria. Oh, don't be shy. <laughs> You're setting yourself up, you ape. As soon as I find a crack to squeeze through, I'm out. <laughs> I could run right now. She'd never even notice. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> oh, office! Hey, are you okay? Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad. She really is. Are you sure you're not hurt anywhere? Yeah, I'm positive. She was genuinely worried about me. I'm such a jerk for blowing her off. What for? Just because we're different species? Try as I may, I can't forget losing my faith in humanity. Curse this foul world. Someone save me from this darkness. Save me from myself. It feels just like we're newlyweds. No, it does not! Oh, it's exploration day. Almost forgot. What's that even mean? Well, it's the day I go out with the clever monkeys and hunt. We look for fruits of evolution. <laughs> Ew. Have you learned about the fruits of evolution? <laughs> they are incredible. They allow you to ascend to the top tier of your species. Really? So you mean I could be the strongest human alive with sick abs? Be careful not to eat too many, because if you eat 11 of them, they'll kill you. Great! Wish I'd known that before I ate 10! You see, I've already eaten 10 of them myself, so I've been gathering them to feed to whoever would become my husband. But that some monster stole them from me! Am I sweating? I feel like I'm sweating. Don't worry, we'll get them back and kill the thief! <laughs> okay, fine, I'm sorry! It was me! I ate them, I swear I didn't know I was just hungry! Poker, it was really just you, but of course you're forgiven. Do you mean it? An honest man, I can't wait to marry you. <laughs> Why are you screaming? Do you hate me? I can handle it. No, I don't hate you, but... <laughs> Freddy, do you want to say your vows first? When did you take it in that dress and where did you get it? Why don't you take a long nap? I'm gonna go hunting. Okay, maybe I will. Take care. Oh, thanks. All I said was take care. Why would anyone blush about that? Anyway, time to escape. <clears throat> Somehow I need to get out of this forest. Come on, Zakia. When are you finally gonna let us fight real battles? We're starting to feel stagnant. We'll never become heroes just swinging around wooden sticks. The goal is for you to become accustomed to wielding weapons. 
Everyone seems so scared, even though we arrived here feeling confident. I hereby order you heroes venture forth and defeat the demon lord threatening our world! Your physical abilities are unprecedented here. We've never seen your light before. Continue to train and you'll gain great power. When you think of it in that way, you don't have anything to fear, do you? <laughs> We're really that strong? If so, it'll be easy. Things sure are different now. Hurry up and let us fight some monsters already! The course stays the same. After you finish your practice swings, you'll do some basic combat training. <sighs> That's all. What's wrong with that dude? Someone peed in his porridge. Well, why not do some of our own training? Hey, now there's an idea. Yeah, but is it a good one? Everyone is upset. We can't change that. So let's just focus on what we can do. You're right. What a wonderful sensation! Nothing like the feeling of freedom and sweet, sweet wind blowing through your hair! Sage! Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, Sage! Please don't leave me! <laughs> She's running after me! And of course, this gorilla's got skills like a pro athlete! Oh no, you don't want to go that way! Shut up! Skill! Instant movement! Instant movement! Instant movement! Instant movement! Instant movement! Sage! Good, this should be far enough. Uh... Okay, well, that's intimidating. <laughs> Where does this go? Hello, anyone there? Well, this is the first. I never expected a human to stop by for a visit. I'm impressed that you managed to reach my room alive. You must be stronger than the average human. Who is this guy? Looks like he could be trouble. Dark Lord Zeanos. Weird. He's also a level one. So nothing to stress out about at all. <laughs> that shows what you know. I deceived you. Look again. Uh, what? Level 1500? I was wondering how strong the next human I met would be. Especially one brave enough to come find me. <laughs> However, it seems you're quite weak. <laughs> no, it's you. <laughs> Sorry, I... Wake up! Please! I, I, I made it safe now. Daria! Why? Why would you save me? You're so stupid. Saria! Thank you. You finally used my name. I feel complete now. Wait, I have a recovery potion! I can't survive that attack. I didn't. I'm already gone. What? I'm using my Kaiser Kong skill. It's called Kaiser's Majesty. It buys me a little more time, even though I've already passed on. But it... It won't last long. <laughs> Tell me why you saved someone like me! <sighs> I refuse to see you as a person, let alone as someone to love. And I said such awful things to you. So why? Tell me. My Seiji, you so, so kind. You weren't afraid of me. You treated me like an equal. I loved being around you. It was fun. Sorry. Will you do this? Smile for me. It's my last request. Sure. How's this? <laughs> Love between a human and a Kaiser Kong. How odd. Seems a little desperate to me. Shut it! Nobody asked you! You hear? You didn't know her! She was so kind and had the biggest 
this hurt that ever existed! Oh my, it sounds like you and that gorilla actually... We did! Well, I... I did! And I don't care what you say. I love her. I love you too. What? Saria! Damn it! Come forth! Ocean Impact! <laughs> 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 strong enough to beat me. Save yourself the trouble and surrender. No. When Saria told me how she felt, I never responded. And it's time to evolve, ready or not. It's in movement! What? Take this! Okay, skill update. Skill acquired. Masuchi. Looks like I've been defeated. <laughs> I am grateful. Thank you for allowing me to witness true love. What's this? Marie, I'm coming home to you now. And this time... I promise that I'll protect you with the power of love. Saria! Uh, uh, Saria! Seiji, listen to me. I, of course. Please know, more than anything else in the world, I wanted to be your wife. Thank you. Sorry. No, don't go. <laughs> Seiichi, don't you recognize me? Wait a minute. Are you sorry? Sure am. What? The Dark Lord Zeanos held a foul visage and a hate-filled heart. But once, 1,500 years before, he was the noble Marquis Zeano Seffert. He was a good lord, loved by all his people, and a skilled blade master sought by heroes. However, the Emperor's schemes led both his beloved wife and his country to betray him. Only one supported Zeanos after that, his maid, Marie. Her unconditional love and devotion eased Zeanos' broken heart. Eventually, the Emperor's evil influence crept upon them. To protect Zeanos, Marie decided to give up her life. But with the loss of Marie, Zeanos also lost hope and became a monster. He retreated to the forest of endless tragic love to spend his stays in the lonely company of her corpse. <laughs> oh, the world is such a heartless place. It truly is. I can't stop crying. We couldn't rewrite Zeanos and Marie's tragic story, but at least they're back together now. That's better than nothing, right? Okay, <laughs> let's find you some clothes. Let's see. Oh, look. Here's a shirt. Heads up! Throw this on! What else we got? Oh? What's this? Hey, check it out! <laughs> huh? Skills, disguise, assimilate, and clairvoyance acquired. You are now able to utilize dark magic. Zephyr's School of Protective Swordsmanship. Founder acquired. Ultimate skill, flash. And ultimate skill, haze acquired. Whoa! Hey, what was that? A little present from heaven. Wow, that's great. Seiji, you keep getting stronger and cooler for the minute. 
Huh? Cooler? Me? Confirmed acquisition of a huh? great deal of experience points. Final evolution. Now commencing. Huh? <laughs> So this is my final evolution. <gasps> hmm? Something wrong? Um, no, not at all. It's just that you really did become cooler. Wow, did I? Would you elaborate? Does cool mean hot? That's not the point. Focus. Uh huh? Right. Guess I should work on getting out of here. <gasps> so, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, don't worry. I'll stay by your side no matter what. And wherever you want to be is right where I belong. You're sweet. Thank you. Huh? huh? Trumpets? <laughs> Hi there. I'm the dungeon administrator, Edward Rusenstein Ballhead Hybados. If that's too long, though, just call me Mr. Sheep. Mr. Sheep? Hi. Moving right along, I've come before you today because you two were the first to clear this dungeon. You're so small. Also, aren't you a wee bit late? I am tardy, but that's because I was rolling with laughter after seeing your evolution. <laughs> <laughs> Let me at him, you little <laughs> jerk! Now, now, don't be cross. After all, I've come to grant you the reward for surviving this treacherous place. There's a reward? Yep, a fruit of evolution cultivation set and a ten-day travel set. Wow! The fruit of evolution can be cultivated? Before I forget! Uh, what's with the helmet? That's no ordinary helmet, Sweet Cheeks. Watch, it also comes with its own special ability as well. Huh? What kind? When you eat, the mouth segment opens up! That's lame! Yay! Okay, my work here is complete. I can teleport you outside the forest now. You ready? What? No, not yet! I love a good panicked expression! Yours is so cute! Well, here we go! I'll remember this the next time we see you! The next time you see me? Really? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, Seiichi. Looking forward to it. At least we're outside again. It's gorgeous. I've never seen this side before. The world beyond the forest is so big! Well then, are you ready to go? <laughs> and so, the adventure begins. A whole new life. I have no idea what awaits me on the other side. But... I'm thrilled, and I'm with you! As long as I'm with Saria, my strength is immediately doubled. I can overcome anything! My name is Seiichi Hiragi. I am a second year in high school. Well, I was. Until one day I was sent to another world. Some random place that isn't Earth. But when I had to eat some fruit of evolution, I buffed up OP style. While I'm still level 1. I also met this hot gorilla named Saria. Well, she wasn't hot as a gorilla. She evolved and then became hot. We got out of that forest together. But I still don't know what to do with my new life in another world! find a town for supplies. Well, first we need to register at an adventurer's guild so we can get proof of identification. And hopefully, that'll put me one step closer to finding Kanazuki and the others. Jiggle, jiggle, I'm a slime! How cute is that? Whoa, a slime? Weird. Hmm. <laughs> Praise! Level 88! No way! Slimes are the weakest of weak mobs, aren't they? It can't be that strong! Jiggle! Oh, holy crap! Must be my sixth sense skill. Take this! It? Am I some kind of monster now? Look over there! What are those? Boots and some cards? I think you need these more than me. <laughs> Thanks so much! They're cute! 
wonder what these ones are. Skills absorb and compress acquired. You have leveled up. Your disguise skill has increased to disguise prowess. Oh, That's just gonna make me more of a monster! <laughs> Just turned into a robe? Look what fell out of the sky! Is it a letter? Hi there! It's Mr. Sheep! What do you want? I heard that congratulations are in order! Way to go on leveling up! You're steadily leaving humanity behind you! Shut your face! <sighs> now then, as you may have noticed, your helmet suddenly transformed into a robe! Don't you worry your sweet face! It just evolved with you! What do you mean? I'm talking about your skill, disguise, and how its level recently increased. In case you're wondering, this means you won't have everyone finding out how monstrously strong you're becoming. Since you no longer need to conceal your face, the helmet transformed into a common robe. Organic materials and one size fits all. Probably a bit TMI. It's pretty exciting news though, isn't it? Also, once you're done reading, this letter will self-destruct. Hmm? <laughs> Wow, yeah, you look great. <laughs> Happiness! <laughs> and once again, we continued on our journey to the nearest town. Huh? You don't have any ID? I'm not buying it for a clock tick. Even slaves have ID. I'm sure they do, but somehow we misplaced ours. Both of you, huh? That's not suspicious at all. Oh well, place your precious hands right here. This beauty is called the Gem of Truth. It's an item that reveals the criminality of those who touch it. I'm using my disguise skill. They'll probably cancel each other out, won't they? Oh good, you passed. Step right up, lovelies next. <laughs> Excellent, you may both enter. We did it, Sage! Now be sure you get your proof of ID made as soon as you possibly can. Right. We're heading to the guild immediately to have them issued. You're going where? No, that's a very bad plan. It's the one place you don't want to go. Listen to me. I don't care what happens. You stay true to yourself. Huh? If anything goes down, you come to me. I will make time for you. Don't rush into anything without talking to me, no matter what. Is that clear? Crystal clear. Good man. <laughs> I'm Claude Schreiser, by the way. But you can call me Claude. All my friends do. All right, Claude, I will. You can call me Seiichi. It's a pleasure. Hi, I'm Saria. Nice to meet you. Charmed. What a privilege to get to know such a beautiful woman. What do you say we try this again? Welcome to the capital, Tilbert! Goblin. Are you sure this is the guild? Yeah. Let me guess. You're surprised because it seems so normal. Me too, based on what Claude said. I think he exaggerated. Oh, did that sting a little? I think you like it though, don't you? Quail for me, you perverted piggy! Stop crying, you sound I ungrateful. You, my queen. Please give me more. You know? I'm thinking Claude has a point here. What's the matter? Aren't we gonna go in? Huh? Uh, yeah, but hang on a second. Come on, pig boy, quit holding out on me. I know you've got more vulgar cries than you. Hot, so hot. I'm grateful to you, my queen. I am confused on so many levels. <laughs> I don't care what it is. I just want to destroy something now. <laughs> Wolf, it seems like he's losing it again. You should go and try and stop him. Please, today's a perfect streaking day! And my eyes are white! If I punched that cow and his blood dripped on these briefs, that would be a travesty! Ha 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 It's like a freaking perp convention! I don't get it. Huh? Why did you- <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, please, don't look! 
It will scar you for life. I'm sure we can get proof of identification elsewhere. I wouldn't if I were you. Yeah. Oh, great. It's Super Perv. Hello there. It is I, the Guild Master, Gussel Kroot. Yeah, check out my abs and thighs. That's supposed to be the Guild Master? Some oily, hairless bith obsessed with his own muscles? I overheard you expressing your needs. You are more than welcome to register your ID with our guild. Ah! Ha ha! Ah! Oh! 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 Come here, Eris. Meet our first new applicants in a while. Oh! Oh, oh dear. Oh. I'm afraid I'm a bit underdressed for receptionist work right now. <laughs> So sorry you two had to witness such a shameful sight. I'm Eris, the one in charge of reception here. Lovely to meet you. Wow, she's so cute! That's an impressive range. Say, Chi, right? First of all, we're glad you dropped in. Second of all, we'd be happy to have you join the guild. But you must have your own reasons for wanting to register with us. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for the people who care about me. Our headquarters is a treasury of information. We gather important data from all around the world. Registering with us will increase your knowledge and power. Oh. Seichi! What's up? I really think we should register with this guild. I have all kinds of good vibes. Huh? Come on! <laughs> Doesn't it seem like they're all having so much fun? <laughs> all right. If you like them that much, we'll join their guild. Called it? Well, not out loud, but I knew you'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen you here before. You new here? Yeah, I literally just joined a second ago. Well, friend, you should come with us for a bit. Seichi? You can wait for me here, Saria. I promise that I won't be long. Being hmm. so rude, let us see your damn face. Ooh. Whoa, hot guy alert. <laughs> Are you ready for this? <laughs> it only hurts a little the first few minutes. Once you get used to it, you'll be fine. It's not a real welcome without a welcome party, am I right? This kind of thing is way too advanced for me. <laughs> Say, I'm impressed with his speed and jumps. Strong legs and loins. That's exactly the kind of new man we all need right now. <laughs> I'm back. Oh. oh. I'm glad to see you. Thank goodness you made it safe. Thank you. Hope there are no more surprises. <laughs> I'm shocked. You've returned without a scratch. It's true. You're the first one who's ever done that. Are you serious? By the way, Gussel, will you do something about your three little pervs? I hope you don't mean stop them from welcoming you the best way they know how. <laughs> Can you not laugh about it, please? There are a few more tests we'd like you to take for us as new members. Huh? Well, we call it a test, but there are no right or wrong answers. It's actually just a way for us to understand your strengths and preferences. Real simple. Then we'll see which quests are best for you. That's right. Most of the quests that come our way are defeating things and hunting. Odd jobs. Maybe a random guard mission. That's why we have to assess your abilities in each field. Okay, I get it. I wondered how that works. However, you're required to take an adventurer with you as your proctor. They must have a B rank or higher to join. Right now, we only have one of those. Let me guess, this one likes pudding baths? <laughs> what the hell? I can't believe you're throwing this on me! Why, it's our A-rank adventurer, Artoria! Don't introduce me. I told you I'm not proctoring any more tests. <sighs> Your face is drooping. Huh? Ask the newbie! You don't want someone you've barely even met as your proctor either, correct? 
Well, I mean, it's fine. <sighs> What's the matter with you, kid? I understand it might be uncomfortable. Trust us. Shut up! You know, I was impressed with how easily he escaped from the Mohawks. So he might be able to survive your predisposition. What's that mean? If that's supposed to make me want to do it, it didn't work. No, of course not. It's supposed to make you want to look at my muscles and let them inspire you. They'll keep you extra pumped up. Ugh! Nothing makes sense anymore. Ugh! Fine. You're too close. <laughs> I'll take the stupid job, okay? But only because you insisted. <laughs> oh, and uh, about earlier, I'm sorry. Why don't we try this again? Nice to meet you. I'm Artoria Graham. I mean, Artoria the Calamity. So about the tests, first thing we'll do is take on quests for odd jobs. How odd, though? There are three options. We can help out an orphanage, demolish a building, or we can help walk somebody's dog. Those really are some odd jobs, aren't they? Normally, we do only one, but Gussel's involved. He probably dumped all the crappy ones on us because he's a jerk. Huh? Huh? Is something wrong? No, but you're cute when you smile. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing! You're adorable! Smile! I did not sign up for this to hear you run your mouth. Now keep moving! Seichi, would you mind terribly if I did this quest? Nah, it's fine. Sure you'll be okay? More than okay! I'm an expert at these kind of things. I promise I'll work hard. Trust me! Oh, thank you. Hardly anyone would accept it since the reward is so low. This is such a big help. I'll do my best. Hey there. <gasps> um, I'm sorry. Ya. <sighs> hey, question. Could you slow down? You're so far ahead. Unless you just don't like me. Then it's fine. Mm, it hurts so bad. Hmm? Are you okay? Come on, don't cry. <laughs> I bet that hurts. Let's clean it up first. This might sting a sec. I'm okay now. Uh, Arturia! A defense skill? It's almost as if she anticipated that from the beginning. <sighs> Sorry, I'm not good at this. At all. You're doing fine. The second quest is demolishing a building, so here we are. This one's already halfway done, huh? Hey! Guess we're starting here, then? <laughs> What's wrong with you?! happening again. Someone's suffering because of me. It's always been like this, ever since I was a child. Why can't I meet anyone who isn't affected? I'd rather be alone than risk hurting someone I care about. At least that way, I know what to expect. Damn it. Damn it! I knew this was coming. I'm Artoria the Calamity, after all. Nobody is safe from my destruction. All I am is pain and heartache. Huh? <laughs> I just ate dirt. <sighs> well, hello there. You dumbass! Don't go charging in like that! Do you want to get hurt? Huh? Listen to me! You're looking to be an adventurer, aren't you? You can't make stupid, selfish decisions in this line of work or you could get your whole party killed! Don't you understand that? Yeah, I think so. An adventurer doesn't need to have exceptional physical strength or a natural talent for magic. They need the ability to sense danger! Right. Your skills will be worth nothing if you die. And besides, you have Saria to worry about, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. Even though that's very important to me. 
I've been guilty of carelessness before, too. But you're safe, and that's what matters most. <sighs> what? What are you looking at? Stop! We've got to keep moving! She hides it, but I think she might actually be a nice person. It's been five months already. This isn't gonna go well, is it? Let's give them a chance. Why are you so tough on them? I mean, they're still in training. Because I don't want any of them to die. Huh? None of those trainees are responsible for our war. If we feel like we have the right to ask them to defeat the Demon Lord for us, that doesn't sit well with me. I understand. Listen, Orph. You're the only one who knows this. But I don't support this war against the demons. <gasps> Be careful, sir! You don't want anyone to overhear such a statement. What I don't want is for innocent kids to die. If they came here from a more peaceful world, I would be elated if they could return home without complications. <laughs> and for our final test, we must find a dog to walk. Cool. Easy peasy. Right. <laughs> you said dog at the wall! Oh. She's really great with milk. I'm glad they're having fun together. Is she serious with this? Don't worry, Seiichi. If it looks like you're in danger, I'll step in to rescue you, so just have fun! I know fun. you're lying because I'm in danger right now! Something's different about you, Artoria, but I can't put my finger on it. Huh? You're smiling a lot more than you used to. I'm wondering if that's about him. What? Did you just say that out loud? I only came here as their test proctor because I... they made me! Oh my, did I just hit a nerve? Seems like it. <laughs> you passed! Well done! Here's your reward for completing the quest! Hey, you just pulled that uh, out of your undies! Yeah! Just a little extra for all your hard work. Now get some rest! Your muscles will thank you! Speaking of, did you happen to book a room for the night? Did, did you, you book, book a room? room? <laughs> Looks like we're camping out. There's no way you can rest sleeping on the ground. I have an idea. Uh, it's just a thought. They might have rooms at the inn where I'm staying. Huh? huh? Do you want to sleep with you? Nope, not what I said at all. I suggested looking at rooms. The rate didn't give me a heart attack. And the food's pretty good. So, this is who you are now. Well then, my pecs are officially in a state of shock. Look, I'm not forcing anyone. Please take, take us, us with, with you. you. <laughs> hmm. Today was a long one, but I'm certainly not going to complain. We met some new friends, and there could be more stability in our future. My name is Seiichi Hiragi. I'm a second year in high school. Blah, 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 you get it. But it is worth mentioning again that after eating the fruit of evolution, this former tugboat now has a dreamboat OP physique. After that, me and my ex-gorilla friend Saria set off toward the royal capital to join the Adventurer's Guild, and it turned out that our proctor was a brooding lone warrior. Nice to meet you. I'm Artoria Grimm. I mean, Artoria the Calamity. Alright, ready to start your next tests? Yeah! We'll start with gathering. Once you've harvested ten of the medicinal herbs growing around the area, you'll have cleared the test. What? That's all there is to it? You wanna do more? Nope, that's a well-balanced amount of questing. Let's go, Saria! Wait! I wasn't done explaining! That's okay, we're good, bye! Wait for me, Seiichi! <sighs> Silly. Uh, why am I smiling about it? Okay, time's up. Let me see which herbs you were able to gather. Here are mine! Very nice. You plucked them perfectly. Up from the root, exactly like I taught you. Thanks! Glad you approve! All right, now let's see what you've brought. Sure. What the heck are these? They're mana mushrooms, and they're very rare. Who cares if they're rare? You were supposed to find ten medicinal herbs! I know, but those must be pretty well hidden. Are you kidding me? There's some right by your feet! God damn it! Got him! So did I pass? Not if you don't have ten of them. <laughs> I see five. Break my 
if I can do this. Hey, wait! Right <sighs> Nothing. Mana mushroom. Antidote weed. Why can't I find anything other than rare items? I just want a common lame anticlimactic herb. <sighs> this will work. I'd say it's coming they along. Are all well. done. Mm. I think that's gonna do it. If we don't catch at least one human after setting up that many, then I don't know what's what. Okay, but I still don't think it was a smart move to ignore Lane's orders not to enter the human realm. You dumbass! Don't you get that if this operation is successful, it won't matter who said what or why! We'll be living the hero's life! Uh... Come on, guys. I bet you have families, too. Yikes, that looks intense. Maybe I can just casually ask if they've seen any medicinal herbs laying around. We're the best friends ever! Um, hello? Who goes there? Wait, that's a human! You think he already heard our master plan? It's over! There's no way to escape now! We'll be facing Leia's wrath! <laughs> uh, so, do you guys have any herbs? Just know you brought this on yourself! Give it to him! I'm Terry! Terry Hem, that is! I am Bosco Dan! And I am the leader, Belle Giselle! Together! We are the personal squad of Leia, captain of the Demon Army's 3rd Division! New victim! Oh good, some more pervs. Where, Where do you think you you're go? going? Too bad you had to get all nosy! Now we can't let you leave here alive! Watch this! Come here, troll! Huh? Don't push that bug! <laughs> right smack in the noggin! Ooh, that was a nice clean hit to the face! Huh? Oh, neat! It worked! Uh, my absorb skill! Not only can I drain my opponent's strength, now I can transfer it to myself! Isn't that handy? Didn't he get hit? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> About those herbs? <laughs> oh, that's that! Lucky for you, we're done with our operation! So, so we're gonna let you go this time, you're welcome! Exit stage left! <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait! What about the herbs? I guess that's a no, then. I don't get it. How is it you can find rare items, but not common ones? I know how it looks, but I swear I'm trying. Mm -hmm. Jeez. <laughs> Here, you can have these. What? Are you sure? You have to try harder. Good job, Seiichi! You are an angel of herbs! Oh, shut up! I am not. Next test! <laughs> Tell me the truth. What made you three prawns disobey my orders by entering the human realm? We knew it was a risk, ma'am, but we went there to set up a bunch of teleportation spells! For what reason is that? We thought it would shave down the human realm's forces a little more! I see. And where exactly do you have them teleporting to? You're in for the surprise of your life! They'll go to the Black Dragon God's dungeon! What? The Black Dragon God? Then I might actually pity the humans being teleported. Yeah! However... Uh -huh. It doesn't excuse the fact that you disobeyed my orders. You'll still be punished. We'll start with about 500 lashes, nice and easy! No! Please forgive us! Get back here, you unruly piglets! <sighs> oh, hey. Is that you, Seiichi? Hmm? Hi! Good to see you, Claude! We're all set to take the guild's final test today. And Artori is your proctor? Yeah, that's good, right? Of course. She's always been a wonderful person. Just, uh, promise you'll be kind to her even after it's over. That goes without saying for us. Yeah, we're so grateful for her, Toria. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, 
Wait, since when do you know each other? We know some good people, don't we? Uh, yeah? So this'll be your final test. Good luck and come back safe. Thanks. We will. Guess we better go. <laughs> all right, are you ready for the next test? Yeah. yeah! This part is all about hunting. Once you've defeated ten slimes, you're clear. This is the last stretch. Do you think you can show a little excitement? Yay! Saria, where's your weapon? Right here! <laughs> Does she know what a weapon is? Because she's just swinging her fists. Trust me, those punches are Saria's weapon. <sighs> well, I'll be sure not to let them out of my sight. <sighs> here they come! Saichi, go for it! Right! Uh, what? Why? Where'd it go? Did it disappear? That's not right. Something's up. It can't be. That's it for today. Your test is on hold. Huh? How come? There are teleportation spells all around us. Where do they go? How weird. What could be the point of that? If you find out, please let me know. Come on, we'll head back to the guild for now. Crap! Quick, Artoria! Ah! What a loathsome smell. There must be humans nearby. Guess we teleported, but where? Does it not look familiar to you either? It doesn't. Not even a little bit. My priority right now is finding a way out. Uh, I may have an idea, but I need you to follow me. Huh? Uh -huh. Do you two remember when I told you that an adventurer needs to have the ability to sense danger? If you hadn't reached your hand out to help me, you both could have made it back safely by now. Uh, sorry? Tell me why you did it and don't give me a stupid answer! I didn't even realize I was doing it. What? Neither did I! I was just thinking that I wanted to help you, and here we are! I agree. It was an impulsive move. But we were worried that something bad was happening to you, and we forgot about the test, okay? I've never met anyone like you. You're both quite rare. Uh... Anyway, ready? Let's hurry up and get back! Okay! okay. Hold on. Here. Uh... That's a guide stone. It's an item you can use when you get separated from your party. When I get separated? As long as you hold on to it, it'll lead you to a party member's location. Plus, you'll know if they're safe because it'll glow red if their life is in danger. Thanks, that's really helpful. Still, do your best not to get separated, though. All right! Are we going to be all right? Did that click? Sorry, I must have stepped on something. Seiji! Uh, 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 Kazaria! What's happening? Damn. Can you hear me? Seiji? Saria? I need to get back to them quickly. We already got separated? Do you know how awkward this is? We were just talking about how we shouldn't get separated and then we immediately got separated! By this wall! Where'd it come from? Ah! That hurt! Hey, Seiji, we still have this! It's the Godstone! Oh, that's right! Good thinking! Thanks, but any idea how to use it? Hmm? Mm, uh, no. Do we ask it stuff? Like, where do we go? Nothing! Nothing? Hold on! It's working! We already know she's on the other side of the stupid wall! Ugh. That wasn't helpful at all! Hey, look! There's a path over there! Great! Let's go! <laughs> Damn it! Not here! Get out of my way! Let's go, Power Slash! 
Please stay safe. Take care of each other. Uh, it's a dead end. And another one. Here too. And here. Is this some kind of joke? How are we supposed to get out of here? Hey, I think I found uh, something. Uh, huh? You're walking away? Well, yeah, it's obviously suspicious. You don't want to open it? Yes, he does. You don't get to tell me what I want. Huh? <laughs> open me! No way! Open me right now! <laughs> okay, time! Time out, please! Damn, let's hope this works! Activate Aquabite! You'll regret that. Oh, what happened? It just disappeared. All I used was a binding spell, though. Oh? Well done. You've leveled up. Another book? Just like that time with Zeanos. Long ago, the treasure chest was an item to rummage through in dungeons, until the item box was introduced. Since then, the chest lost all reason to exist. Why don't the humans love me anymore? The desire for human companionship led it to grow limbs and speak. It also learned how to use magic. Water magic! Fire magic! However, the plan backfired. Humans began persecuting the chest as a monster. With all hope lost, the Spurn chest roamed aimlessly through the places where it had created fond memories. Poor thing, you were so mean to it. Agreed. I feel bad. Hmm? Ring of Misfortune? Legendary equipment? Looks like it multiplies the wearer's luck by negative two. What the heck? Nothing good can come from equipping that thing. How strange. Mm. Um, it's doing something? Huh? Wait, stop! My virgin eyes! Has it always been this color? This is it. Now what? This is the only path I'm able to take. Uh. Uh. Huh? Who's there? Greetings, human. So nice of you to stop by for lunch! <laughs> You've learned your lesson about taking matters into your own hands. I beg your forgiveness, Captain. I'll have you know that the Black Dragon God is far worse than this. Aww. He has been distinguished as the strongest member of the Demon Lord's army. <laughs> Anyone who runs into him is cursed with the worst luck of all. What's it doing? You'll know if they're safe, because it'll glow red if their life is in danger. Wait. That means she's in danger! The is growing stronger! What do we do? Well, where is she? Go! Deja vu. This wall sucks! I hate it! I hate it so much! Oh, that hurts! Yeah. Um, what now? Damn it! Perhaps I should praise you for putting up an impressive fight for a human. I 
can't give up my life until I've rejoined them. I need to see them safely home. You're in for a treat. I'm gonna show you how I earned the name Calamity! Hmm. What's this? I don't need rationality. I'll turn myself into a raging calamity! Calamity Berserk! You humans and your mortal folly. I hope now you know your place. How unexpected and fun. I didn't think there was a human left who could surprise me. I'm sorry. I tried. After constantly bringing disaster into the lives of others, it felt good to smile. I'm feeling a twinge of compassion, so I'll put you out of your misery. I wanted to pay you back by at least seeing you both home safely, but instead, my calamity will be yours, too. I'm sorry. Artoria. Artoria, wake up! Uh. <gasps> Why are you here? We came to save you, obviously. My name is Seiichi Hiragi. I'm a second year in high school. I got trapped in another world, ate some fruit of evolution, and wound up with a hot OP bod. Artoria, our test proctor, says she's like a magnet for calamities, which is strange because she's so nice. But she's in a lot of trouble, so I guess it's true. My calamity will be yours too. I'm sorry. Artoria, wake up! Artoria. Why are you here? We came to save you, obviously. Seiichi, sorry. I'm so glad you're okay. You are, right? I think so. How did you two find me? Well, you see... It's glowing red. That means she's in danger. What do we do? Stupid wall! She's back there! Huh? All I had to do was hit it like I meant it, and it fell! That's great! Now we can find out what happened to Altoria! <laughs> you ready? Hold on tight! Instant movement! And next thing we know, we're here! Wow, that's incredible! And the Black Dragon God? My guess is, that's our guy. We ran into him when we got here. Uh, Just hold on! Seiichi, you can heal her, right? Yeah. Use some of this, Artoria. Thanks, Seiichi. Saria, you stay here with her. Okay, we'll do. Good luck out there. Hmm. So you're the monster who hurt Artoria! You'll pay for that! Foolish human! Hope you don't expect to leave here alive! I do, but I'll make it quick. We're ready to go home. Nice try! Aren't you sweet? It's nauseating how obnoxious humans are! You think so? That's... 
Advanced appraisal! This guy's at level 5,000? That makes him twice as strong as Xehanos! Die! No, you! That was close. What do you think of this? What the hell? I can't move! to my bind resistance. And don't I have an absorb skill? <sighs> Thankfully, I'll not have to endure your arrogant battle much longer! Behold my most powerful spell, Herald Inferno! The flames of hell will burn you to ash! Oh, great! What am I supposed to do now? Hey, Zinji! Uh, you should use that spell for when you fought me! You're right. I won't lose! Ball! Disaster! Alongside him, just like the princesses. I have to wonder, what happened to the Black Dragon God to make him hate humans so much? You have leveled up. Huh? You have leveled up. You have leveled up. You have leveled up. You have leveled up. Okay, you have great. leveled up. You have leveled up. Huh? You huh? have leveled up. Ah! My elbow! Thanks for checking up. I'm doing fine. It's just, you seem so sad. Don't worry about me. How's Artoria? She fell asleep after taking the recovery herbs, but she'll probably wake up soon. That's good news. Can't wait to get out of here. Yay! How do we get home, though? Huh? You don't know? And no one told me! Wait, you don't even have a map? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Whoa, easy! Okay, there's gotta be something around here to help us find a way out. You've acquired Black Dragon God Scale. Fang, mm -hmm. Claw, and Bone. Uh, is this gonna make me OP again? Huh? Uh, if I eat the Black Dragon God's gem, it'll improve my physical stats and the potency of any magic I use. Nice! How? Kinda tastes like soda. New skill. Spatial magic acquired. What spatial magic? Did I get it from that sassy treasure chest? Saria, I think we can get home. Really? Yay, let's get going! Huh? Black Conqueror's long coat. It has great impact and blade resistance. Most common weapons wouldn't even make a scratch on it. Oh my! 
That <laughs> looks so good on you. Do you really think so? Here it is, the last item, the Black Dragon God's biography. <laughs> A long time ago, there lived the Black Dragon God. He was the guardian deity of his land. <sighs> The humans there longed to forge weapons from the mighty materials of the Black Dragon God. So they decided to plot some good old subjugation. However, he was saved from that malicious fate by the Demon Lord. The humans decided to retaliate with some hero summoning. And the poor, innocent Demon Lord was slain. The Black Dragon God was sealed in his dungeon where he vowed to exact vengeance. He swore he'd never lose anything so precious to him again. The end. <laughs> Poor Dragon God! <laughs> What's wrong? Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Mr. Sheep didn't show up this time, did he? Uh, well, now that you mention it... <laughs> Where are we going with this gag? Hello, it's me, Mr. Sheep! Of course it is. Wait, it's for Mr. Sheep? Read it, read it! Okay... Congratulations on clearing the dungeon. It pleases me to see you're feeling more comfortable with leaving your humanity behind. That's not a thing. Unfortunately, you failed to meet the condition of finding a way for the Black Dragon God and the Demon Lord to live peacefully alongside each other as requested. How's anyone supposed to do that? Oh, look at that sad little pouty face you're making. You missed me, huh? Shut up! Anywho, go ahead and continue clearing those dungeons, kids. Doodles! Mr. Sheep was in good spirits, wasn't he? There's something else written here. P.S. I'll be going on vacation for a while, so don't actually clear the dungeons just yet. Okay, thanks, bye! <laughs> don't you have a job? He works so hard. I hope he enjoys his vacation. <sighs> I'm just glad we can finally go home. Yay! We're here! It feels like it's been forever, doesn't it? Sure does! Looks like Artoria's feeling better now, too! First things first, let's check in with our guild. Hey, cut it out! You're gonna whack someone in the nose! Be careful! Your wounds may have healed, but you haven't fully recovered your stamina yet! Yeah... I'm sorry... for getting you both caught up in my calamity. Huh? What are you talking about? Look, this is my current status. Your luck! It's negative two million! I'm the bearer of calamity. From the moment I was born, I've been cursed with that title. That's not the worst part. It brings misfortune to those around me as well. And that's what breaks my heart the most. Is there a way to end the curse? There's not. Unfortunately, I will forever be a harbinger of doom. Not true. I'm glad I met you. You haven't brought us any misfortune. <gasps> Hoorah! Hooray! Hey! Autoria and her examinees! Where have you three been? Where did everyone go? Good question. We've been searching for as much info as we can find. Oh, yeah. What for? Because that's what you do when your friends are missing, obviously! Wait, me too? What kind of question is that? Yes, you! But I... Did you hear that? Everyone you thought you were putting in danger is so grateful to have you back in their lives. I promise that you're not a calamity. You're our friend, and sometimes trouble follows you. Seiichi. Please believe me. Everyone here adores you, even if you are a chaos magnet. We all have our own issues. There's nothing we don't love about you, Artoria. <laughs> what? Why the heck is she running away? She forgot something? Or she wants you to run after her? Okay, I'll bring her home. I got a new baby, Belle. Give me 50k for a shower gift. Huh? That's way too much! 
Man, humans have a bizarre sense of fun. Buying houses, having babies, hoarding money, no thanks. You know, I heard this game was brought here by one of the heroes summoned from another world. And I wondered, is this what life is like there? <laughs> <laughs> News of the Black Dragon God. He was defeated. Huh? <gasps> Who could have done something like that? There's no way! None would face him! He was the strongest being in the Demon Lord's whole army aside from the Demon Lord himself! Well, that's not the case anymore. Who defeated him? I'm not sure. Not yet. But it's clear that someone who opposes us as demons has revealed themselves. <clears throat> what kind of monster is among us? Where did she go? Oh, that's right. My, my. If it isn't Seiji. Huh? Oh, hello, Adriana. You look troubled. Maybe. Artoria ran off and I can't find her. Do you know where she is? No, I'm afraid I don't. I'm sorry. Thanks anyway. How well do you know her? Have you heard of her strange gift? The Calamity? Oh, that. Sure. Then may I ask you one tiny favor? Uh, depends what it is. Look out for her. Find some way to get closer to her if you can. <laughs> I'll do my best. Whatever she needs. She is my friend, after all. <laughs> well, I guess I better be going. I'm counting on you, Prince Charming. This is it. This is where we had our first guild test. Victoria, is that you? Oh, hi. What are you doing out here like this? I just needed to think. Tell me, am I really someone others want in their lives? Hey, you saw their expressions earlier, didn't you? Come on. It's obvious how much they love you. <laughs> I'm so glad you're back! So then, it's possible that the amount of love I have for those around me could, um could somehow be equaled by what they feel for me in return? Adriana asked me to get closer to her. But how? <laughs> it's gonna be okay. I know it's hard. You might be feeling a bit anxious. But I'm here, as long as you need me to be. You don't have to be alone. I'll stay here with you. I promise. Till the day you can be truly happy. No wonder if Seiichi's okay. Don't worry, he's doing fine. Trust my muscles, they never lie to you. Ah! Don't you dare believe a word that this trash heap says. Stop it, Eris, that hurts! But he's got a point. Seiichi's kindness has been making quite the impact on our precious Artoria. <laughs> I hope he's safe. Okay, hold on. I hope it doesn't look like I'm making a move here. No, of course not. I'm just comforting a friend who needs me right now. Nothing wrong with that. But why? Why does she have to smell so nice? What am I doing? I can't laze around cuddling her. Um, Seiichi? <gasps> What's up? I'm <sighs> sorry. Forgive me. I I'm just... I'm so embarrassed right now. Trust me, I know how you feel! But it helps, so thanks. How is someone so sweet and kind cursed with chronic misfortune? It's nuts. Is there seriously nothing I can do to help her? <sighs> From the moment I was born, I've been cursed with that title. I have a feeling things would be different if Arturia's luck wasn't in the negatives. If it wasn't negative, that's it! Arturia, please hold out your hand! Huh? If I'm right, this ring's power should have the opposite effect on you. Uh, uh, 
What is this? The Ring of Happiness. It's fantasy grade. It's supposed to double your luck. And that should cancel out your curse. Are you sure about that? It'll double my luck? Positive. Check your status. It's simple math. Two negatives make a positive, right? The curse is over. What? How do you know? Trust me. <sighs> you're not the calamity anymore. <sighs> Come on, Artoria. Let's be happy together. There's so much time to make up. <laughs> I'm here, and I'll fully support you. I'm here, and I'll fully support you. Support you. Support you. <clears throat> <clears throat> Jeez, what now? What did I do wrong? Huh? Let's be happy together. Uh, I'm here, and I'll fully support you. Uh, she thinks I proposed to her! But it helped, so thanks. And again... If believing something like that can make her smile, I suppose that's all that really matters. What's wrong with me? Why is my heart racing like this? My name is Seiichi Hiragi. I am a second year in high school. I ate some fruit of evolution in this crazy new world, and now I'm mad OP. After I beat the Black Dragon God, my friends and I went back to Telbert. Hey, wait a sec. What's got Artoria so depressed? Let's be happy together. <laughs> I'm here, and I'll fully support you. <laughs> she thinks I proposed to her! Oh man, what have I gotten myself into? Something on your mind, Siege? You were there, you saw what happened. Oh man, I really mucked this up. Huh? Hey, uh, so, did you sleep okay? Artoria? See you later, I guess. She can't even look me in the eye. That's what's bothering you? I wouldn't worry about it. It's not like she hates you or anything. Yeah? How can you be sure about that? Hmm. Basic instinct? Don't you mean gorilla instinct? <laughs> That's enough about me. Got any plans for today? Huh? Well... Our hunting test got cancelled, so our whole day's freed up. Then in that case, I think I'll go spend some time at the orphanage. Oh? Do they have a quest for you to do or something? Yep! And Claire did say I have an open invitation to come by. How about you? <laughs> I've got research to do. There's a couple of things I've been meaning to look into. Good luck! See you later! Bye! Okay. I've been in this world for a while now. It's about time I learn more about it. The thing is, I was hoping you could help me out. <sighs> I've got just the thing for you, my friend! The Great Guzzle Muscle Camp! Perfect for beginners and pros alike! No, that's the last thing I need, thanks. This is the problem with going uh -huh. to meatheads for advice. Eris, hey! Good afternoon, Seiichi. I believe I may be able to help. Well, that'd be great! My Eris-style S&M lectures cover everything from tips for beginner pig slaves to tricks for hard bi- so how many can I put you down for? Why is everyone in this guild unhinged? Relax, we're what? just having a bit of fun. What was it you needed help with? Have you heard about anything unusual happening? Something major? Hmm. Like a bunch of high schoolers appearing out of nowhere? Now that you mention it, there was news of some other country conducting a hero summoning. Did you say summoning? Bingo. They pulled quite a few heroes from another world. They're hoping to use them to defeat the resurrected demon lord. That's why they're here? If you want to learn more about the hero summoning, you could go and visit the royal library. Can you tell me where it is? Here oh. you go! 
This map won't get you there in no time! You really need to invest in some pants! Man, it reeks! I've got my first lead. Maybe now I'll finally learn something about what happened to Kanazuki and the others. What is that fool doing? That damned Sakya. He hasn't been giving our heroes any practical training. What's the point of thumbing them if they're not properly prepared? From what I've heard, many of the heroes share your frustration and are asking to be pitted against real monsters. Then why hasn't he done anything? He knows the danger if the Demon Lord rises and the heroes are not ready. Perhaps it's time we relieve Zaki of his duties and have the heroes continue their education elsewhere. I assume you have a suitable place in mind? The Barbador Magic Academy. With their solid foundation, the heroes should easily rise among the ranks of the other students. This way, they will receive proper training while showing the other nations the true power of the Kaiser Empire. And you're certain of this plan? Of course, your majesty. The heroes we summoned are merely children, after all. It wouldn't take much to ensure their obedience. So you say, but can you guarantee it? <laughs> I'm hurt that you would doubt me, your majesty. As if I would leave anything to chance. Enslavement bracelets, huh? I like this plan. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I pull myself together? Huh? One look from him and I ran away. I couldn't say a word. Even now, whenever I think about him, my heart starts to race. What is this feeling? I was hoping to learn where the hero summoning happened, but I've been here for a while and I still haven't found much. Which is unsurprising. It seems like every book here says the same thing. Mankind good, demon lord evil. <laughs> but that doesn't add up. I've met enough bad guys to know they've been hurt too. It's hard to tell which side is telling the truth and which is lying. I think I need a break. Right. Let's see, uh, here we go. I've been meaning to learn more about magic. Hey, this looks interesting. In order to activate magic, you need a mana source and a way to visualize the spell. However, top-class mages don't require visualization and can use magic without chance. Spell, omit chant acquired. Uh, okay. That was a thing, weird. Uh... Ice magic acquired. You have mastered this skill. Come on! All I did was open the book! Lightning magic acquired. You have mastered the skill. How is that possible? I just flipped a page! Fire magic. Water magic. Light magic. Wind magic. Congratulations! You have achieved master rank with all elemental magics. Are you kidding me?! Skill. Magic creation acquired. <laughs> Skill, pinnacle of sorcery Please acquired. Stop. Skills, this is too magic ridiculous. Acquired. Skills, I've had enough, but you want to be normal again! <laughs> Gonna get you! <laughs> now, Sari is a very special kind of girl! Surprise! <laughs> Well, no luck. Guess I'll have to look elsewhere if I'm going to learn anything about what happened to everyone else. Oh. Uh, uh. Plus, I got so busy at the library I forgot to eat lunch. Huh? Whoa! Are those animal ears? <laughs> uh, thanks for stopping by. Oh, um, yeah, sure. Please, good sir, feel free to look around. Mm -hmm. Are you the one who painted all of these? Oh, yes, I am. Oh. Her style is really cute. That one there. How much is it? <gasps> Sorry, are these not for sale? No, just you're the first person to ask. It's all ready to go. I should put this in my item box for now. Yeah. What's next?
Okay, what is that smell? <laughs> Here it is! Café a corriente. Mm, yummy! Uh, wait, this could get weird. Squeal for me, you perverted piggy! I'm not sure I can handle another adventurer's guild! But my stomach says it's worth it. Let's go! Afternoon, sir. Hmm. Haven't seen you around here. Oh, um, right. Sorry. Are you open? Why don't you pick a seat and find out? I promise we don't bite. Please do come in. What can I get for you? I don't understand. What is this longing that makes my heart feel like it's about to break? I wish I knew what was wrong with me. Is that all? I believe I can be of some help in that regard. Uh, hello, Artoria. How lovely to see you. Oh, um, yeah, you too. It's chow time! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> ah! The cream in this is delectably rich, but not so much that it overpowers anything. The pasta is cooked to perfection, and this meat complements everything beautifully. This isn't food. Oh. <laughs> I gather it's your first time here. You an adventurer? That's right. Though I've only officially been part of the guild since yesterday. Call me Rons. I'm a humble commoner myself. Good to meet you. Good to meet you too. I'm Seiichi Hiragi. Seiichi? With a name like that, I'd guess you're originally from the Eastern Nation. What? Uh, sure. Let's go with that. The Eastern Nation is famous for producing some of the most powerful warriors in the world. You must be pretty tough. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> this gentleman. Noad. He owns and operates the cafe here. Pleasure to meet you. I hope you enjoyed your meal. Yeah, it was great! I was about to freak out. I thought they'd realized I was from a different world. <laughs> You're in love. No doubt about it. Are you sure? Bet it's your first love, too. But that's impossible. Me in love? It's ridiculous. Is that so? Then would you care to explain what that ring is doing on your left ring finger? <gasps> oh. <sighs> Everyone knows what that means. It's a vow of eternal love. <sighs> if I'm not mistaken, it's because of that ring your curse has finally been lifted. I know. Seiji is already in love with Saria. Oh. Is something wrong? You'd feel better if you confessed. If not to Seiichi, then at least to yourself. Me confess? We came to save you, obviously. But I'm here, as long as you need me to be. I'm here, and I'll fully support you. It's true. You're right. I am in love with him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is it all right for someone like me to fall in love? Of course it is. So then, would you please help me find a way to get Seiji's attention? Eh? You see, I want him to know exactly how I feel about him. That I love him more than anything, and that I hope he can love me in the same way. Uh, leave it to me. I'll teach you everything you could possibly need to win sweet Seiji's heart. Are you kidding me? So, um... I really messed things up, huh? That's understating it, kid. It's a time-honored tradition. When a man falls in love with a woman, he'll present her a ring. And then he will put that ring on her left ring finger as a symbol of his eternal love for her. <laughs> you can bribe him, or you can beg him, try to run away. It won't matter one bit. You back out. They take your head! Wait! Really? You could be castrated, depending on the woman. 
said that. Simple solutions to marry her so you don't have to worry about it. Like, for real? You did swear your eternal love to her. What else is there to do? Well, yeah, but... Hmm. I can tell from that look in your eyes that there's already another woman you've got your heart set on. Actually, there is. Right then. Just profess your eternal love to both of them and your problem solved. You gotta keep an open mind about these things. Wait! What did you say? <laughs> Before you do that, please allow me to share some sage advice with you. If you love these women, then don't insult them by stringing them along. Either honor your commitment, or apologize to them and accept the consequences for your mistake. At the very least, they deserve that much from you. I understand. Thank you. Next time I see them, I'll let them know exactly how I feel. I oh. should be heading out now. I enjoyed the meal very much. I appreciate the compliment. I'd like to talk more should we meet again. Same. Bye. Uh, to be young. Oh, Rons. It was foolish of you to come here alone. You're too exposed in a place like this, even if I'm here with you. Remember who you are. It'll be fine. Luis will get here any second now, and no one in the kingdom can best her with a sword. My heart goes out to that poor girl. It can't be easy having to suffer your whims all the time. Oh. Yet she's always there. This is hard. I know dragging this out could end up hurting them both, but I can't decide. All right, I think I'm ready. Or I could take today to really think it over, and then I'll talk to them both first thing tomorrow. Because really, it's better for everyone for me to take my time. Sure, things might still be a little weird with Arturia, but I'll bet she'd be fine with waiting a little while. Yeah, uh-huh. Jeez, I'm the worst. Poor nun. Seiichi. Uh oh, hi, Artoria. This can't be a coincidence. She's right here. It's a sign that I have to tell her the ring was a misunderstanding. She might not ever be able to forgive me. I wouldn't blame her. But she deserves to know the truth. I can't chicken out now. I can do this. Come on. Say it. Just say it. Hey, Arturia. About that ring. <sighs> Is this happening? She's really kissing me. <sighs> Please don't say anything just yet. The thing is... I know you were only doing what you could to help when you gave me this ring, not saying that you loved me. That's right. I know, but I don't care. <sighs> I don't care at all! Because I've fallen in love with you, Seichi. Uh. I mean, I know that you've given your heart to Saria, but still, just being here with you now makes my heart ache. And I hope that there's some part of you that feels the same way. Artoria, please. Am I unlovable? Or broken? Am I not enough to stay by your side? That's not it. I'm not very ladylike, and maybe I'm not what you want in a partner. But I still love you! <laughs> I just didn't know. What's wrong with me? Say something! Right then. Just profess your eternal love to both of them and your problem solved. But... Artoria, listen. You are... Oh no. Huh? Saria! It's not what it looks like! Believe me! I'm fine with sharing you. Huh? I mean, I'm a little sad I won't be able to have you all to myself. But you're such a wonderful guy, it would be pretty silly of me to expect I'd be the only one to fall for you. That is so beautiful! And besides, it's totes natural for a gorilla girl to be drawn to strong males. It is? You're never gonna let me forget you're a gorilla, are you? And Seiichi, I care about Atoria a lot, and it hurts to see her like this. I want all of us to be happy together, so please accept her love like you did mine. 
sorry. Huh? Arturia. Uh, R. Huh? I'd like it if you would call me R. It's a special nickname for those who are precious to me, and I want you to start using it. All right? So it's R from now on. <laughs> that sounds great, R. Uh, 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 and I want you to know that I love you. Uh, 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 R, I'm hopeless and more than a little unreliable. However, I promise to do all that I can, so you'll never regret falling for me. Good. <laughs> now we get to be happy and together forever! <laughs> <laughs> Bicep salute! So happy for you. You did good, kid. A wise choice. I love happy endings. Thank you all! Wow, what a day. I wonder what's next. My name is Seiichi Hiragi. I am a second year in high school. I ate some fruit of evolution in this crazy new world, and now I'm mad OP. Also, I somehow found myself a super hot girlfriend, who's totally down with me having another super hot girlfriend. I'm fine with sharing you. And I want you to know that I love you. Now we get to be happy and together forever. Now we're one big happy whatever this is. It's all happening so fast, but I couldn't have asked for a better life in another world. Hey, Seiichi, I've been meaning to ask something. You have one mode, don't you? I mean, most people don't like eating while a pelvis is getting shoved in their face. Don't mind him. What did you want to talk about? Yes, that! It occurred to me that you've yet to get a horse, am I right? A horse? A horse, of course! Every high-ranking adventurer has one. They're absential! <laughs> Whether you're on the battlefield, traveling long distances, or carrying your gear, horses are the backbone of the adventure life! And another thing! Forging a bond with your horse is a precious rite of passage for anyone who would call themselves an adventurer. <laughs> is it wearing your underwear? Come, we must hurry and drink while the protein is still shaken. You can buy a horse at this stable. What else are you hiding in there? Well, this sucks. I was hoping one of the girls could come and help me with picking a horse. I can't. I already agreed to help at the orphanage today. I'm sorry, I've got quests to finish up. Might as well get to it. Which would be easier if this map made sense. Oh. Would you look at that? Um, excuse me. Yes, how can I help? Well, I happen to be in the market for a horse. So you're planning on entering the Royal Cup, I reckon. Sorry, the what now? You must be from out of town. The Royal Cup is this big race around the city. It's an incredibly dangerous, no rules, no holds barred, all-out race to the finish line. And the prizes are worth dying for. Wow. I'm surprised I'd never heard of it before. Well, if you want to enter, you'll want one of our horses. Best of the best. That's our promise. Nice try, but that race sounds a bit much for me. This one's a dragon horse. They're real popular among adventurer types. <laughs> And this is a deer horse. What they lack in the looks department, they make up for in speed. What's wrong with its face? And you won't find one livelier specimen than this one here. <laughs> Damn! Lost another one! What does that mean? Deer horses have a tendency to die on you. They're frail and stupid creatures. Sometimes they'll forget how to breathe, or you could pet too hard and they'll keel over. Owning a deer horse is so dicey, the slightest error means death. But the feeling you get from succeeding is the most darn distress you'll ever know. Yeah, I need something tougher than that. If it's tough you want, there's that one over there. 
A real wild one, she is. I've never seen her warm up to anyone, and she's been here since she was born. <sighs> Can't say I recommend her, unless you got a death wish. Hate to tell you, but that's not a horse, it's a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it's prone to violence. <laughs> Is it saying something? Skill. Comprehend all languages. Acquired. And if you ever touch me with those filthy hands again, I'll kill ya! This is your final warning. Only those I deem worthy are allowed to touch me! Not sure he can hear you under all that trauma. Uh oh, yeah? <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? Uh, oh, um, no one? If you got something to say, then come in here and say it! You look weird standing there! Yeah, sure thing. Uh, well, this is happening. Ah! Oh, that nearly took my head off! That was just plain rude. Huh? Ah! Let's start over. Ah! Put me down, you bitch! I don't think Put so. Not down. until you promise you won't try to kick me again. Fine. I promise, okay? <laughs> Please forgive me for my rudeness. I assumed you were weak like that old man. Uh, apology accepted? And now I understand that your strength is truly unparalleled. So please become my master. I've been waiting my whole life for someone to come along who is worthy enough for me to serve. Uh, can't say I saw this coming. I guess that's fine. What's your name? It's Lulene. Nice to meet you. Well, thanks, Mama. I'm a big boy well, now. Well, sir, I'd like to buy this donkey. Shut up! Don't you ever talk about my mama like that! We're settling this right now, you hear? <laughs> 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 yeah, come back now. <laughs> I never would have guessed the world outside my stable was this grand. Oh my goodness, what is this incredible smell? <laughs> There's a food stall over there if you want to try some. Yes, please, more than anything. All right, I'm buying. Uh, you too kind. Two meat grenades, please. Sure, let me wrap them up for you. Has anyone told you you're too perfect for this world, Master? Let's dig in. Um, no, no, no. So good. The juices really do explode in your mouth, and the meat is perfectly seasoned and tender. A true meat grenade, if ever there was one. If I had known the outside world was this yummy, I would have left my stable long ago. Can we try more food, Master? I need to make up for all that time spent eating hay. That sounds like a great idea. I can't thank you enough for showing me how good food can be. I'll spend the rest of my life working to repay your kindness. It's fine, really. What do you mean huh? you haven't entered the competition? Why are you still hesitating? I'm sorry, but I didn't become a painter because I care about winning awards. Trust me, you're wasting your talent here, and I can't bear to see someone with your skills running away. Is there a problem? Uh. Mm. Uh. Please, just move along. This is an exchange between artists. <gasps> hey, it's you! Huh? Thank you so much for purchasing my painting the other day. I see. Even on these streets, your skills are undeniable, May. Which is all the more reason you should enter the charity painting competition, you know? Held one month after the Royal Cup, the charity painting competition is the most prestigious painting contest in all the Kingdom of Winburg. But I'm only a novice painter. I can't imagine they let someone like me even enter at all. That has nothing to do with it. You say you're just a novice, but you've already sold one of your paintings to that man over there. Hmm? So you're the one that bought May's painting. I am. I thought it was really good, so I bought it. Ah, a man of taste. No doubt you have one of my works, too. Sorry, can't say that I do. But that's impossible! Come on now! Surely you must have seen at least one of my paintings. Huh? So, it's a triangle. What's the big deal? For some context, this is my take on the classic theme of young love. It tells the story of a maiden waiting at the beach at sunset, longing for her lover's return. Wow. And here I thought it was just a triangle. <coughs> so...
So, who's this? <laughs> the name's Clay. Clay Berger, a prolific prodigy of the arts and eldest son of the one and only Duke Berger. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, sir. Back to the matter at hand. May, your paintings have left an impact on my heart like no other artist has. I'm begging you, let the world finally see you and enter the competition. I can't. May. So, I was thinking of entering the Royal Cup. <gasps> and if I'm able to place at the top, then would you consider entering the painting competition? <gasps> the Royal Cup? But that's extremely dangerous. Aren't you scared you'll get hurt? Yes, a bit. I'm not exactly sure what I'm getting myself into. But if my entering the race can inspire you, then I'd say that any danger I face is worth it. <sighs> and if I end up regretting it later, at least I'll know I gave it my all. <sighs> Speaking of the race, rumor has it that one of its prizes this year is the artistically delicious tombouli. Say What's what tombouli? Now? The Tabuli fish is legendary! It's the fifth place prize! They say the flavor is life changing! No way! That settles it! We're definitely entering, Master! Yeah, yeah. While I commend your courage, I'm curious. Are you entering the race with a donkey? Yeah, why? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again! Saria and I will be cheering you on from the front row. Thanks! This is an impressive crowd. I've been about that fish so much I can taste it. Okay, is everyone ready for this year's Royal Cup? I'm Lorna Kirizas, your announcer for today, and a proud member of the Valkyries. Who's boss? And now, it's time to introduce this year's extravagant prizes! Tambouli! Tambouli! Here's the prize for second place! And believe me when I tell you, this one is spicy! Without further ado, I present to you sexy, candid photos of the one and only Valkyrie Captain Louise! Isn't she gorgeous, folks? Uh -huh. A crowd. Don't get distracted. We're here for one thing and one thing only. Dumb boy. <laughs> Heck yeah. Excuse me, Sayichi? Huh? Hey, how's it going? What are you two doing down here? Supporting you, obviously. Are you certain you still want to go through with this? It's not too late, you know. You can still withdraw. They say the first step is the hardest one to take. Sometimes, all you need to get through it is someone to give you a gentle push forward. I've certainly felt that way before. I figure it's my turn now. I want to help you take that first step, May. <laughs> All right, now let's get that fish. Everybody ready? It's time to get to starting positions. The rules of the Royal Cup are simple. The race begins once you exit the main gate. Then you must run a lap all the way around the city walls and return here to the goal in the main ground. During the race, any obstruction of your fellow competitors is totally allowed. So remember to watch out and always keep your guard up. And don't be afraid to get creative. Let your riding and adventure skills shine. Tambouli, tambouli, tambouli! And now, the front gate is opening. Racers at the ready. Get set. Johnson, you okay, buddy? I'm getting up now. Uh, 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 uh. Huh? John, they're all dead. The cannon sounding must have been too much for them. It serves them right. What idiot rides a deer horse? Oh, man. I never put money on those guys. It looks like we lost 20 racers already. 
with those remaining all safely making it past the gate. Except that dude. Lulune? You feeling okay? <sighs> what are you doing? You're getting left behind! For a reason. I didn't pay good money to watch your sad little doggy. Get your act together! What's going on with Seiichi right now? I have a bad feeling about this. What's wrong? You were fine this morning. It's funny you say that. How come? I was so excited about eating tambouli. Time got away from me and I ended up skipping breakfast. What? Oh, for the love of... Let's see... Maybe I've got something in here? <gasps> the Fruit of Evolution Cultivation Set! <laughs> Lilune, have one of these! Huh? Oh, you suckers better get out of my way! <laughs> nice try! Fine by me! I'm coming Whoa! through! <laughs> the grand prize is as good as mine! Those are big words coming from the man still stuck in second place! <laughs> Now, things are heating up, with two of our racers duking it out for the lead! i fooled around long enough. Time to give them a real show and use my Summon Wolf Whistle to eliminate the competition. Never heard of one of those before. Sounds stupid. Come forth, my precious beasts! This girl's got a date with the Valkyries to get to! What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so her whistle summons grand wolves? Uh -oh. This race is hard enough without having to deal with b right monsters! Okay. Well, folks, I'm sad to say, due to a spike in mortal danger, this year's Royal Cup will have to be canceled. Hmm? What's this? Something's coming down the track at incredible speed. <laughs> it's that dude from earlier. <laughs> we believe in you, Yoshiichi Lumine. <laughs> Just when you think he's down, he always manages to surprise you. Go, Seiichi! If he keeps this up, he'll win for sure! Please slow down! The rocking's too much! I'm gonna hurl if we keep this up much longer! I'm trying, but it's like my legs have a mind of their own! What the heck was in that fruit you gave me? What the? They're charging straight in? Are they insane? If they want to die that bad, I won't stop them. This is awesome! I can do anything! <laughs> Be gone, trash! Before I crack some more skulls! You think your jumping donkey will scare us, do you? Let's dance! <laughs> Thanks for handling that, Lulune. Uh, don't know about you guys, but I'm thinking that first place isn't worth going through these two. Yeah, there's no prize that's worth getting my head cracked open for. Let's quit. But if everyone decides to forfeit, then the race is over! Uh, that's right! With all the action, I almost forgot! Ride, Lulune! Let's get that to Apule! I guess this means the race is back on schedule. Oh boy! That was so exciting! Can you believe it? He won! Of course he did. He's the man I fell for after all. He really pulled this off. I assume this means I should be expecting you at the charity competition this year? Yes! Now I know exactly what to paint! I can't wait to get home and start working on it! Better be good, because I'm going to be giving it my all this year as well! It 
that's not a total loss. Look, we won the grand prize. Uh, I don't want a trophy. I want to have uh, Hey, Lulune. Uh, I'm sorry that things didn't work out, but there will be other chances. Besides, there are way more delicious foods in the world than just tombouli. We did our best, and that's worth something. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet of you to say, but please calm down. You're crushing me. Say to you in there. Ah! Um, say to you. The Lune. What? Please help me. Ah! My name is Seiichi Hiragi. I am a second year in high school. I ate some fruit of evolution in this crazy new world, and now I'm mad OP. I decided to enter the Royal Cup with a donkey called Lulune. Well, she ate a fruit of evolution, kicked some serious monster A, and left the other racers in the dust. In first place, Seiichi Hiragi and Lulune. As if that wasn't crazy enough, what happened next was insane. Please help me. The donkey turned into a hot chick? What is it with this world and animals evolving into lustworthy hotties? Uh... Wait, were you? Are you Lulune? Yes, it's still me, Master, but something's wrong. It's my body, I think. I know, I can see it. Uh... Oh, don't freak out. Give me a second to explain. Hey, Seiichi, what do you think you're doing? Uh, nothing. I mean, wait, it's not what it looks like. I swear we were just talking. Well, she's naked. Please, just save it. So what you're telling us is that woman is your donkey. But she's evolved now? Yeah. That's about the worst excuse I've ever heard. Do better. I am not making this up, believe me. For real, Art? I know it sounds weird, but he's telling the truth. Honestly, even now you're really gonna defend him? Don't run, it's me! <laughs> Soria, I used to look like this. But after I ate the fruit of evolution, I became a human. <laughs> See? <sighs> Great, what now? Hi. Hmm. This way, come with me. Check it out. Does it look good on me? Yes, you look absolutely fantastic. Likey, you've got good taste. Yeah, you think so? I do. Thank you for all of your help. I am here. Huh? Really, Lorna? We didn't come out here to fight anyone. There's no reason to make that kind of entrance. Nah, nah, nah. Forgive me, but who are you two? Oh my goodness. So sorry. I am one of this nation's Valkyries. Name's Claudia Asterio. I am also a Valkyrie. Lorna Kirizas. And you must be Seiji Hiragi, I take it. Uh, yeah, that's right. Could you hold out both hands, please? Sure, there they are, ma'am. Huh? My apologies for the short notice, but we've been given orders to bring you in. Bring me where? I don't get it. What exactly did I do wrong? Yeah, we don't have time to answer questions. Let's go. But... Lock it up. Your evil doing ends today. Oh, stop. That's enough drama, Lorna. Uh, wait, I still didn't do anything. I swear I'm innocent. I appreciate you all waiting for me. I'm Leia Falzar, Demon Lord Army Captain. What's the deal, Leoretta? Are we gonna start yet? I'm ready to be home and in my bed. That's enough! I don't know why Lady Lugia summoned us here today, but you can be certain it wasn't to listen to your asinine complaints. 
What say the both of you sit still and behave? Unless, of course, you're aching for some of my specialized punishment. Hey, Leia, who gave you special permission to arrive late to an important meeting? I'm a bit curious about that too, my dear. If you don't have an excuse, you should always be on time. That said, Lady Lutia doesn't seem to have arrived. Hello. I really appreciate you all responding to my summons. <laughs> yeah, thanks, everybody. <laughs> There's nothing funny, Chris. <laughs> You have our attention. What's going on? Yes, of course. I've summoned the captains from each division in the Demon Lord army because... <laughs> I'd like for us to consider entering an alliance with Wimberg Kingdom. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? How could you ask them to forge an alliance with the same humans who have persecuted demons for ages? Need I remind you, it was the humans who sealed away the Demon Lord, your own father! I'm aware, but that's another reason this alliance should be formed. This makes no sense. It's not only irrational, but reckless as well. I don't think the King of Wimberg would agree. I've been told that he's proactively building friendly relations with the demons these days. I have a question. What might that be, Leia? The fight. When the Black Dragon God was killed, I heard he was defeated by a single human from the Kingdom of Wimberg. Yeah, right. So one measly human took down the strongest member of all the Demon Lord's army? It sounds like there could be some holes in that story. He knows who defeated him, and he said it was a human called Seiichi. So... <clears throat> Yusetsukov, Ufaklad, Rakyamarito. Yusetsukov, Ufaklad, Rakyamarito. Yusetsukov, Ufaklad, Rakyamarito. Black Dragon God. Loyal servant of the Demon Lord, I summon your soul here now! Ah, you have come! Oh, that's right. I lost. I shall gather mighty forces from each demon army, and we shall avenge you. No. Uh... It's true, there was a time I hated humans. However, that man challenged me fair and square, and I lost. Trust that I have no regrets. You truly mean that? Since when does he care about fair and square? Oh, please. Our Demon Lord's army has been the brunt of countless dastardly tricks. We don't have to cling to our cruel past forever. It's my belief that if we desire our people to be happy, then we need to learn to coexist with the humans. No, wait! What about the prophecy? You remember the prophecy, don't you? It was foretold that involving ourselves with the humans and their fiendish ways would bring about a great calamity from which all demonkind would suffer! Then you're free to have my head should it come to pass. That's ridiculous! All people would expect much more for their troubles! <laughs> hey, Piggy, what do you mean by troubles exactly? Like my fist in your mouth if you don't shut it? Ludi is talking. <laughs> It pains me to acknowledge that I agree with you, but I wouldn't mind eliminating that beast right now. <gasps> he should luxuriate in some hard punishment. I'd be happy to help. <gasps> You'll see just how foolish it is to mess with humans, and when you do, just remember I told you so! Your faith in what's right will help us move forward. And now, I need you to lend me your strength. We stand together, as one with the Demon Lord! Thank you all. Damn it! Damn that! Damn everything! All of my plans are ruined! But maybe not. Maybe they're simply redirected with an option to correct course. Yes, that's it. What fools to try and stop me! <laughs> This is the castle of the Kingdom of Wimberg. It's called Arkshell Castle. Wow, it's awesome. I mean, this is great and all, but uh, who wants the honor of telling me what's going on? Correct me if I'm wrong, Seiichi, but you won the Royal Cup, did you not? Yeah, and that's a crime? Did they not tell you? 
one of the fabulous prizes you won was the exclusive privilege of hanging out with us Valkyries for the day. And that's what the manacles are for? It's hard to believe, but we really don't have that much free time. V! Forget the weird hand signals and get these off of me! Okay, fine. Hold still. <sighs> I've missed you, sweet freedom. And here we are! Welcome to the Kingdom of Windberg's training ground! Check this out! There's a barrier here that's so strong that if the mages cast their spells at full strength, it wouldn't budge! That's true enough, but still. Louise would never allow them to do that. And, uh... This Louise person is scary enough that the mages listen to her? I wouldn't know where to begin! She's a devil! Pure evil! <sighs> what perfect timing we have. Look right over there. This is some of the training Valkyries go through. See the one in the middle with the rose petal cyclone? That's Louise. She's our captain! Mm. I love the smell of roses. <laughs> Watch very closely and don't blink! It'll be over in an instant! So fast! Even with six cents, I couldn't see it! Your blade work has improved, but your attacks are too straightforward. Work on your stealth. I see that you've both returned from your errand. Yes, as requested. And just in time to see the show. So you must be Seiichi. Uh, yes? Fabulous. I lead the Valkyries of the Kingdom of Winburg. I'm Louise Balze. Hi, it's so nice to meet you. Likewise. <laughs> now then, shall we mock battle? I should be heading home. Ladies, stand clear. No, wait, why should they stand clear? Don't be afraid. It's just a wooden sword. Um, okay, but why? So this is Barbador Academy? I wonder what's going to happen to us here. I guess all we can do is wait and see. What you think, Kanazuki? I think we should get moving. Mm-hmm. Bro, no way! Is the student council president walking amongst us? Uh, Oyama. Kenji too? Yeah, what's up, Oyama? I'm surprised to see you up and around after watching you get stomped like a cockroach in boxing club. Excuse me? Don't even go there. What can we do for you? I mean, since you asked, it might be kinda awesome to have a reunion match. Like, with our new skills and stuff. You want a match? Yeah, sure, why not? I want to see if you guys can beat more monsters than us. Sounds fun, huh? Don't you worry, though. I'll go easy on you, Kay. Dude! <laughs> so? <clears throat> What's wrong with you? I'm gonna pass. I've got way too much to do to waste time on your silly games. What'd you say? Dude, it's fine. <laughs> She's all talk and always has been. Just let it go. Come on, none of us know this place very well. Let's not decide who our rivals are just yet. I don't understand what their deal is. You're brave, Karen Karazuki. You should know better than to defy us. You still got a lot to learn. I'm impressed. I didn't expect you to dodge my opening strike so easily. What are you talking about? That wasn't easy! Very well then. Next. I'll use my full might! What? No! Ah! Damn it! She's not giving me much choice! Wow, he's quite skilled. Dodging Louise's attacks like that requires a degree of talent and athleticism not many people possess. I'm surprised we had never heard of him before. <laughs> I have to say, I'm truly stunned. I hadn't thought it possible my attacks would have no effect. Me too! Can we be done now? Indeed. I'll end it with one final blow. Or we could just skip that part, I get it, I swear! <laughs> What's up? Skill adaptation activating. 
Skill, sixth sense merged with skill, enemy detection into skill, world vision. Furthermore, skill, reflexive defense acquired. I was able to move like that all of a sudden either, promise! Uh, hi. Master Seiichi. Ah! Is it okay if I call you Master? What? Why would you do that? I trust you'll take good care of me, Master. Are you kidding me? Seiichi, do you have a minute? Huh? Would you mind if we step outside for a moment? Uh, okay. Pardon me, sir. Ah. Uh. For you. The bath is prepared, your majesty. Excellent. Thanks. All right. Let's see how hot the bathwater is today, shall we? Your strength is admirable, Seiichi. Forgive me, would you prefer that I call you Master Seiichi from now on? It would be awesome if you didn't. Actually, I just wanted to say thank you. Hmm? I'm sure you noticed back there, but Louise is a genius. You would think she was born with a sword in her hand. Yeah, no kidding. Unfortunately, she can't wield magic or perform any skills. Yada yada yada. I know a slash when I see one and she launched plenty at me. The thing is, she can mimic what she sees. Anything she witnesses, she can recreate. It's all pure technique for her, not skills. Well, that's an incredible talent. There was only one who could measure up to her, and that one person was the Black Paladin. So that's why, the next time you see Louise, she might... <sighs> oh, hey, Louise. Hello, Captain. Pardon me, sir. I hope you'll forgive me for calling you Master. I should have asked for permission. Oh, no, it's fine. We're cool. I want to say thank you. Huh? For rescuing me today. Sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. It seems like I've been alone my entire life. <laughs> I learned how to wield a sword when I was young. <laughs> Goodness, Miss Louise, you're a genius! But the stronger I became... Genius. The more walls grew between me and others. He's so cool! A real genius! <laughs> I never had anyone I could call a true friend. What did I tell you? Your presence and attention today is what rescued her heart. We're so grateful. Thank you. I didn't do anything. Thanks, Claudia. For always being so concerned about my welfare, it means a great deal. I, I really don't know what to say, Captain, to hear such a thing coming from you. Come on now, don't cry. <laughs> it's like a dream come true! <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Being alone sucks. So, uh... <laughs> Do you really think I'm qualified? As a master? Yes, I believe in you. Truly. That's cool. But, um, I don't know how much I could teach you. You're pretty skilled already, you know? Don't you worry. I'll just learn by observing. No, 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 no. Skill. Instructor. Acquired. Huh? It's like they're listening. Come on, master. We must spar at once. <laughs> Whoa! Right now? <laughs> Is he okay? Please come quick! It looks like he's been attacked! <laughs> Wait here. There could be danger. 
Master, I must ask that you head home for today. Why would I do that? I can help. Seiji, please. It's not safe for an outsider to get involved. We apologize, but it's best for you to go. Please, hold on. Great. Guess I have no choice. But then again, since I happen to be here... Skill! World Vision! So that's the culprit. The assassin is... a child? My name is Seiichi Hiragi. I'm a second year in high school. I ate some fruit of evolution in this crazy new world, and now I'm mad OP. Beautiful Luis of the beautiful Valkyries suddenly attacked me, and then... Is it okay if I call you Master? Why would you? She's my apprentice, I guess? But other stuff happened. Please come quick! It looks like he's been attacked! The assassin is... a child? Just another crazy day! Here in this crazy other world! What the? This kid is super fast! Let's see... Name, Oliga Calmeria. Age 8? And she's a girl, too! Conditions... enslaved? Does that mean she's somebody's personal slave? She's coming! Wow, you really do look like some sort of legit assassin. What now? Uh, what do you mean, what now? <laughs> Time to die! <laughs> Not bad. Good thinking sending a second knife, just in case I wasn't hit by the first one. These are not for children to play with, so I'll just be confiscating them. Skill. Reflexive defense activated. <laughs> Quick, out of the way! Phew. Jeez, that was close. The reflexive defense skill, huh? My body reacted on its own. <sighs> You're such a jerk! <laughs> She's just a little girl. So why become an assassin? I don't understand. Hold on. Let me ask you something. Hurry! Damn it, where? Why would such a small child attack the king? Master! Hmm? Seiji! Wait, who's that? Well, this little girl is our assassin. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Are you kidding? There's no way some kid was behind anything. Yeah, it's hard for me to believe, too. Hmm. Uh, we'll find out. Please see to the interrogation, Lorna. No prob! You can leave it to me! Wait a sec, but why her of all people? Despite her innocent appearance, Lorna is our nation's top interrogator. <laughs> This is my calling! It's been a while, so I'm really raring to go! Um, what do you mean by interrogation? Lorna's the only person who's mastered all of Queen Eris's SNM lectures. She is very persuasive. <sighs> come on, come on, come on! You stupid hunk of stinky man-mates! Hurts so good my traps and delts are screaming more! Before long, you'll forget your own name. Lorna, got it. <laughs> Take it just like that! It's finally working! My signature is on fire! I'll tell you anything! That does sound effective. Let's set that aside for now. So, you're still with us? Well, I've been worried about the king's health. Do you think he'll be alright? No. His majesty hasn't woken up. <gasps> this girl attacked the king with a powerful weapon called a curse knife. The particular curse that the knife was imbued with is known as eternal slumber. And when someone is wounded with that, it's over. They'll never be able to wake again. Eternal slumber? I've never heard of anyone who has managed to find a way to undo the curse. What will we do? We can't stand without his majesty not waking up! There must be something I can do to help them. 
How do you reverse it? With R's curse, I didn't undo it. I just inverted its effect. Oh, that's it! Everyone! Listen. Take me to the king as soon as possible. Ah! No freaking way! I know this guy! It's Ron's from that cafe! Uh, is that because of the curse? You know the king? You've met his majesty somewhere before, master? Um, sounds crazy, but yeah. I can't believe he's the actual king. I hope I wasn't, like, rude or something. Excuse me. Huh? Are you the one? The person who might be able to wake his majesty? Please, allow me. This is Florio Balze, my brother. He is also the leader of our nation's magic division. Nice to meet you. I'm Seiichi. Can you update me on the king's status? While I've sealed his wounds with healing magic, I seem to be unable to stop the curse. I'm sorry. If even your healing magic won't work, I fear all might be lost. You owe us nothing. But will you help? Can you lend us your power? Please, Please save, save our, our king. king. Hey, there's no need to bow, guys. I'll do whatever I can. <laughs> We're most grateful. Thank you. If there's no magic to undo the curse, then I'll create it. We need a spell to deal with curses, and we need it yesterday. Skill. Magic creation activated. To begin, I need a clear visualization. Empty my mind. Focus in. Invite the vision to come to me. Wait, do I even know what a curse is anyway? Everything I'm picturing comes from nightmares and fairy tales! This isn't helpful! Not in the slightest! I need to visualize the king's health. Get better. Get better! 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 What is Invert Magic Get Better? Does that mean it worked? I hope this works. Curse, Eternal Slumber, has been inverted into Charm, Eternal Health. Oh, really? How long have I been sleeping like this? Huh? That you, Seiichi? Small world, huh? <laughs> My king! Majesty, thank goodness! <laughs> it was our friend here. No, Master Seiichi. He's the one who undid the curse upon you, hmm? No, no, no. It really wasn't that big of a deal. Sure it was. Not every day someone saves your life. I'll have to find a fitting way to reward you for all your help. There's no need to reward me. You should know. You saved every one of us living in this nation by saving the king's life. So there's no reason to be modest about our debt to you. You've earned our respect. That's right, Seiichi. I owe you. And I promise to do everything I can to pay you back for what you've done. Hmm. Hmm? Uh, actually, there's one thing. Your Majesty, I humbly beseech you, sire. What is it now, Zakia? There is something I must inquire about, Your Majesty. How pompous of you, Zakia! But sire, where have all the heroes gone? Heroes? Do you mean those slaves? <clears throat> I sent all of them away to the Barbador Magic Academy. <laughs> It'll only benefit us! <gasps> Kanazuki! Any idea what's going on here? It feels like us heroes are outcasts, but how did it happen so fast? I think I know exactly how. Mm -hmm. Well, well, well. Uh. Isn't this cozy? What are you three up to? <sighs> huh. 
Rento Togo. Tsuyoshi Oyama. And Masayaki Saragi. Hmm. You really shouldn't glare at us like that, you know? It's such a pity to waste those good looks of yours. Now, Spill, what were you kids chatting about before we walked up? Definitely nothing to do with you. So get lost. Ha! <laughs> You're a pretty hardcore girl. I love it. Taking strong-willed women like you down a few notches is a favorite hobby of mine. <laughs> really? Come on, Kenji. Be smart and take a big step back. Because if you think you can threaten your betters, then you're dead wrong! Alright, listen. If you don't hurry up and tell us what you're talking about, I promise we'll make you regret it. You scum! Fine, I'll tell you what's up. We were talking about the reason why we heroes are becoming ostracized at this academy. Why are you acting so confused? Please, it's totally because of our hard work! Right. Hey, easy. We're just doing what that ancient guy Helio told us to do. Go to the academy and show the students the true power of the heroes! Got it? <laughs> it's hilarious how easily we were able to master the simple magic taught at Barbador. Those pathetic little plebs don't have even a fraction of the potential we do. <laughs> we're just exercising our privilege in a world where it's survival of the fittest. Why don't you understand? Being a hero means being one of the strong, and there isn't anything wrong with that. Jerk, that's not a good reason to wreak so much havoc. <laughs> well, I hope you losers have fun trying to act like good people. Hey, shut it. That's enough. Come on, you guys, let's get out of here. What? Not cool. Just drop it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to wrap my head around the fact that you've got such a huge bath up in here. <sighs> this bath is a small part of a big dream. Huh? You got enough time to hear me out? Uh... By the way, Lorna, is the interrogation of the assassin going well? So, actually, about that, she's keeping her lips tightly sealed. <laughs> But hey, who cares? Your skin's so smooth and delicate, it almost feels like silk. Oh, that kind of tickles. You know, that was impressive earlier. When Seiichi told his majesty what he wanted. Uh, actually, there's one thing. Seriously? That was so cool! Majesty, I don't require any such grand reward. I have but one real desire. All that I seek is the chance to train in magic and swordsmanship. I'd expect no less of my master. That's my Seiji! You're every bit the man I knew you were! Please use the training areas and anything else you'd like! <laughs> the way they actually said it was a bit different. Hey, Saria, are you at all worried about Seiji? Huh? I mean, he did get dragged off by those beautiful Valkyries. I didn't like it when they took Master away! He seemed okay. You're not getting it. What I mean is, there's a good chance he could come back here with more new girls. Are you actually all right with that, Soria? Of course I am. It's just Seiichi. And what's that mean exactly? I have faith in him. I couldn't tell you why if you asked, though. Just seems like he has a great sense of humor about everything. A real water off a duck's back kind of guy. That's kind of beautiful. All I can say is I'm completely jealous. Uh, jealous? <laughs> Seiji, am I not good enough for you or something? <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'd only have a baby with a man as capable as you are. We can only recognize love when it comes with pain. Now come here! Just thinking about what could happen makes me want to punch someone! I'm the jealous kind of- Ow! My foot is cramping! Ow, 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 ow! So silly I. It's not funny! So, Seiichi, I want to build public baths. Yep. And not just throughout this nation, but the entire world. The entire world? That's great. I know. Nationality and race don't exist when you're in the bath. Whether you're human or demon doesn't matter either. 
Everyone's equal in the tub. Someday, I hope everyone in the world will stop their fighting. People need to be able to spend more quality time naked with each other like this. Well, that's my silly dream. Feel free to laugh if you'd like to. <laughs> <sighs> I'd never. Your Majesty, please tell me you're joking. You didn't truly send them to the Academy, did you? Ha! And so what if I did? So it's no jest, but how could you, sire? Be silent, you insolent fool! Zakia, you dare to question His Majesty's ideas? <clears throat> huh, they're all just sacrificial pawns! Is that how you really think of them? And what do you plan to do if they ever use their power against us? <laughs> the heroes can't revolt! It's impossible! What? Well, I am the greatest mage in this empire, after all. It was a simple enough matter to place enslavement bracelets on the students. You put those things on the heroes? And in the event they do try to remove them... Helio, you bastard! <laughs> what in the world was that? It must have been a sniper. An enemy targeting your majesty. Wake up, Sakyo! What are you wasting time for? Go and capture the idiot who dared shoot at me! At once. Helio, the king's all yours. Go! Quit your prattling and hurry up! <laughs> I can't believe someone would dare attack you! I want to know who was behind this. It couldn't have been the demons, could it? Majesty, I recently heard something very worrisome concerning those demons. Go on. It's been brought to my attention that King Rans of the nearby kingdom of Wimberg may well be forming some sort of an alliance with them. Oh? And from my perspective, that would be treason, since your majesty is preparing to fight them. <laughs> There's no need for concern. I've already taken some measures. What do you mean? I'm certain you've heard the name as well, old man. I've sent out the one no one escapes once targeted. The Dark Executioner, also known as the Twilight Assassin! Right about now, our enemy will taste the exact same humiliation I just faced. An impressive plan, your majesty. Seiichi. Master! Seiichi? Y yes Huh? Why are you all here? Sorry, but these ladies said they wish to see you. Jeez! Sorry has been so worried about you this entire time you've been away. Huh? What? No, wait a sec. Sorry, huh? Hey, tell the truth. The thought of you surrounded by all the Valkyries was too much. She said it drove her mad with jealousy. No, that's actually what you said, Arp. Come on now. I would never say such a thing. <laughs> Master. <laughs> Even smells like fresh flowers. No way! Have you two already? That's not how it looks. I swear that's just Louise. She's the captain of the Valkyries. So what? You're the actual Knight of Swords. It's nice to meet you. Master has been taking very good care of me. Nice to meet you too. I'm Saria and Seiichi's wife. You are? Way to go! I'm kind of surprised. You landed yourself an adorable partner there. Uh, yeah, well, I do all right. Hey, my full name is Artoria Graham, and I'm, um, Seiichi's g g g g girlfriend <laughs> This one's your girlfriend? Yeah, it's kind of complicated, you know? And I'm Lulune. I've dedicated my body and soul to Master as his loyal servant. Wait, servant? Guys, what kind of introductions are these? Oh, boy. <laughs> a wife, a girlfriend, and a servant? You're a wild one, Seiichi. Not exactly. Sir? Huh? You make me very proud to have a master like you. I am lucky indeed. Wow, I'm even more impressed. You've got some serious restraint. How are you not in flames right now, Seiichi? <sighs> I'm a little worried. What do people think of me? Then, little kitten, today you're going to tell me everything you know. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't until after this that I learned about this tiny girl's past and the burden she's had to bear. My name is Seiichi Hiragi. I'm a second year in high school. In case you're late to the party, I've been transported to another world. I ate some fruit of evolution, which turned me into an OP hottie with a body. And then randomly, out of nowhere... I said my name's Sario. A talking gorilla? Let's get married right now. I got married! And kissed a monkey? Who turned into a naked jet? <laughs> That's when our journey finally began. Welcome to the capital, Telbert! At least, that's what we thought. But instead, we entered into a guild of pervs. My name is Artoria the Calamity. I want to touch the hottie. Wait, Calamity? It was one chaotic event after the other. But thanks to my evolution, I wasn't affected at all. I fought and defeated the Black Dragon God. Trust me, it's a big deal. That led to even more kissing. Oh yeah, and then Lulune showed up. Together, we entered the Royal Cup and actually won the dang thing. Help me! And then she turned into a hot naked chick too! I am here! What could possibly happen next? Jail? Cool. And that's how I ended up at Arkshell Castle. Unbelievable. Ladies, stand clear. Wait, why is she fighting me? Is it okay if I call you Master? For some reason she decided to call me Master and become my apprentice. As I was freaking out over that, someone attacked the king. But I saved him with my magic creation skill. Turns out, the king is actually Ron's! And that brings us to the interrogation of the little punk who went after him. So, whether you've been watching this whole time or you're just now catching on, that's a recap of the first nine episodes in less than two minutes. Now all you have to do is sit back and enjoy the plot twists and exciting final moments. You're welcome. Things will go much faster if you start talking. I'm assuming you don't want this to get painful, do you? And she's just getting started. Lorna's torture methods can be quite terrifying. This is nothing. What do you mean by torture methods? Ugh! You're just wasting time! We have proof! <laughs> Fine. I didn't want to do this, but you leave me no choice. Lorna, wait. You're not really going to do that to her, are you? Pork bowl. Want some? What is this, some B-list cop show? <laughs> Doesn't that smell delicious? It's also freshly steamed and piping hot. Look how fluffy these eggs are. And this roasted pork is so thick and juicy, it's about to burst. <laughs> I'll let you know how it tastes. Oh. <laughs> that was all kinds of rude. <sighs> Shivani won't talk. If you did, you could be stuffing your face with this yummy meal. What are you, some kind of demon? Lorna. Oh, oh my! What are you doing here, Ruiz? I was about to ask you the same question. Well, I was thinking since she's feeling hungry, she'd be more motivated to talk or she's so deliciously she could be rewarded, you know? I hope you ate enough because you're not getting dinner tonight. What do you mean? That's not fair! Why? Uh, I didn't mean to make you mad! I'm sorry! Uh, hope you like it. What? This is for me? Yep, eat as much as you want. Please, you must be starving. Oh. <laughs> It's delicious! <laughs> Thank you so much. Look here. The collar she wears. It's an item called an enslavement collar. Those who wear it are forced to obey any order given to them from whomever placed it around their neck. So the mastermind was somebody else, huh? Not her? That's right. She was ordered to. Wait a minute! If you knew that, why did you have me interrogate her earlier? My apologies, I realized it after. Well then, shouldn't we take the thing off of her? No, I'm afraid it's not possible. Huh? 
There you have it. That's the power of the enslavement collar. Who would do something so evil? You're telling me she failed! Not to worry, sire. This is just one of the many reasons why we have the enslavement collars. So what do you plan to do next? I'll make sure she goes through with our secret orders. Meaning you'll have her end her life as planned? Of course, your grace. Then quit standing here and see to it! Right away, majesty. <laughs> Why do I even bother wielding my sword for this ungrateful empire? What exactly is it supposed to be protecting? About time you showed up. I'm quite impressed. Tell me the truth. Did you plot His Majesty's assassination? I had no clue who it could be. Imagine my surprise seeing Zakia, the King's Blade and Greatest Knight, standing here. Will you just answer the question? Fine, have it your way. My name is Xi'an, and I'm the man who shot at His Majesty, the King. Are you satisfied now? Is it your desire to plunge this nation into chaos? How could I do that? This nation is chaotic already! <laughs> Come on, don't you dare pretend! You know exactly what we go through on this side. Not that I would ever expect any empathy from one who rests solely on his status. <laughs> However, my greatest reason was to get vengeance for her. What are you talking about? Nobody gets to choose how they're born. Especially if they're demons. But she lost her life for it anyway. She never did anything to bother anyone. She was a simple florist, that's all. Can I have this one, please, ma'am? Absolutely. Since when did demons sell flowers? I... Um... Gross. Look at this crap. <laughs> please stop, sir! Don't do that! It's about time they officially made a mandate. We can finally rid the streets of these demon pests. If we get any wetter, our armor's gonna rust. Come on, our work here is done. Adriana! Adriana! Why did they have to take you away from me? That's what did it. That's when I made up my mind. I will never forgive them for that. Or those who laughed at her differences. I despise the country that killed her. I don't care how noble your reasons may be. I cannot overlook anyone who threatens our great empire. How fascinating. In the end, the greatest knight in all the land turned out to be nothing more than a puppet. I am no man's puppet! How dare you insult me! <laughs> I want to protect this country! Nothing else matters! That's the magic gem sword, 50 -er. Let me see its power! Ah! Oh, mm. yeah. Where did it come from? You look awfully confused, my friend. Well, I hope you don't expect me to reveal my tricks to you. Now let's see how you manage against my Thousand Arrow Prison! You're going down, King's Blade! Conquering Air Blast! What the hell's that? You may surrender quietly. That's the King's Blade for you. We'll finish this another time. And when that day arrives, I pray that you will no longer be a puppet! Come back! See you later, King's Blade! I am no one's puppet. Doesn't look like it's working. They said there's no way for anyone but the owner of the enslavement collar to remove it. 
Which means there's no magic spell to do it either. Hey, Seiichi. Claudia told us what was going on. Sounds like you're having a pretty rough time. Shh. Oh, yeah. Maybe I can do what I did to save Ron's. <laughs> now, skill. Magic creation. What? Um, what's happening? No good. I can't get the same clear visual as I did with Get Better. <laughs> hey, don't worry. I'm going to free you from this, okay? <laughs> free you? Freedom. Enslavement. Slaves. Someone known for freeing slaves. Oh yeah, it's gotta be him. There, that should be the perfect visual. Master? Who is this? Link, the 16th US president? Holy crap! Those who deny freedom to others deserve it not for themselves! Magic creation activated. Liberation magic. President Link has been created. No way! Uh, uh, the, the collar's gone! You're free. You'll never have to wear it again. I'm... free? <laughs> <laughs> That's not quite the reaction I expected! Seiichi, you should be ashamed of yourself! What kind of monster makes a poor innocent girl cry? <laughs> uh, there, there. Don't cry. It's okay to cry. She doesn't understand. Sometimes we cry because we're happy. Yeah. Who would do something like that anyway? Entrapping a poor defenseless child? Of course she's happy. I would be too breaking out of hell. Nothing is better than this ball of joy. I got distracted, but I'm happy for whoever's happy crying. Who said you could have that poor cutlet bowl? I was saving that one for later, you jerk face! My name is Oliga Calmeria. As you can see, I'm one of the cat beast folk. Our kind are persecuted in the Kaiser Empire. Pull out the big ones. Leave the brats. Sir. Please, sir. I'm begging you. Don't take me. My daughter needs me. Oliga! I watched them carry my mother off to a concentration camp. Mommy! All of the Beast Folk children were sent to a facility to receive special training. There, they made us into killing machines. Can't you dodge faster than that?! Those of us who survived, became assassins. When my training was complete, I became part of the assassination squad serving the Kaiser Empire's royal family. Huh? That girl? Mm -hmm. Hey there, little lady. Where are your parents at? Please forgive me. <laughs> it was there that I obtained practical experience in the art of killing. From the moment that collar touched my neck, I've stolen the lives of countless others. Murder is what gave me value. My hands are stained. And I've lost my innocence. Uh, it's okay. Uh, They're not stained permanently. You can still start over. Yes, but... But I... The evil here is the Kaiser Empire, not you. We are the same, beast folk and humans. We live our lives as one. You really think so? <laughs> Seeing you like this makes me feel like I'm talking to a little sister. A little sister. That's right. So maybe you can think of me as an older brother or something. Hey, Seiichi! I had a mm -hmm. thought! It might be nice for Oliga to stay with us. That's a great idea! I can't! Mm -hmm. I disobeyed my orders! 
If I stayed, the Kaiser Empire would come for all of us. Well, if they show up, I promise you I'll keep you safe. Huh? I may not look too buff, but I'm a pretty strong guy. But what if... What do you think, Louise? Are you okay with this? Of course I am, Master. This decision is yours to make. Jeez, that was quick. It was meant to be. I was originally hoping that I could leave her in your care anyway. To be honest, His Majesty wishes to protect her as well. He said there was no way we could punish such a young child. Good man, Rons. I can stay? Really? Yeah, you sure can. My name is Seiichi Hiragi. Big Brother Seiichi. <laughs> so it's you again. What news do you have regarding the Demon Lord Army? <laughs> There's nothing happening there! In fact, we needed to make some major corrections to all of our plans! Yes, the Demon Lord's daughter, Lutia. Rumor has it she's proposed forging an alliance with the Kingdom of Wimberg. Yes, that's, that's right. right! Soon, our precious dreams will come true! Indeed they will. So then tell me, how is our plan coming along? I'm prepared to step in and handle my part at any given time. Oh, you woman! Take a look at this! A lovely surprise. It looks as if things are ready to move forward. You bet they are, so let's get to it! We all fight for him! All, all hail, hail the, the great, great demon, demon lord! <laughs> great. Well done. Oh man, I am so exhausted. You're doing well. Your control of magic is coming along quite smoothly. Yeah, but I thought it would be easier than this. Based on where you started, you've come a long way. Hey, uh, Seiji, what am I supposed to do with this? Goodness, Waterball is for beginners. I didn't know it could do all of that. Yes, I'm full of surprises. Hey, Seiji, mm -hmm. look over here! Look how many balls I can handle at the same time! <laughs> That's great! You're both so incredible! You all have some fine skills. We're very grateful. Uh. Master. Hey, uh, you're looking pretty intense there. More than usual. Master, I've come to ask a favor. Uh-oh. I need some time away, but I was hoping you look after His Majesty for me. You want me to protect Rons? Where are you going? The Black Paladin. Do you know who that is? Oh yeah, if I'm remembering correctly, he's the only knight able to hold his own against you. We've received a report from him. He stated the monsters have been growing more and more active along our borders as of late. Mm. Apparently the Black Paladin's army isn't holding up on its own. So I'm heading out to leave the Valkyries there. If you watch the king while I'm gone, it would mean a lot to me. I'm sure he'll be able to rest easier. Wait a sec. I'm just a basic adventurer. Then how did you defeat me? A basic adventurer isn't stronger than the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I guess you're right. So then, do you accept? Mm, I guess so, since you're asking. Thank you so much. I mean it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must see to my preparation. Must be tough to lead the Valkyries. All right, Master. I'm counting on you. Hold down the fort, okay? You bet. Consider it held. Miss Louise! When do you think you'll be coming back? We don't plan on taking very long. Though, it will be about a week before we make it there. That's pretty far away, huh? And once we've made sure that all the monsters are defeated, it's cleanup time. So it could take over a month. That's a pretty long time, huh? We're all ready to go, Louise! The Valkyries have assembled. We are ready for immediate departure. Thank you! I guess it's time. Take care. 
We'll see you soon. Be careful. Have a safe journey. Let's move out. It all seems so simple at first. But as fate would have it, nothing in this world is as simple as it seems. Not by a long shot. Unfortunately, I wouldn't come to this realization until a week after they departed. My name is Seiichi Hiragi. I'm a second year in high school. I ate some fruit of evolution in this crazy new world, and now I'm mad OP. Big Brother Seiichi. As fate would have it, I somehow wound up with a little sister, too. Also, a massive horde of monsters randomly showed up at the border of Winburg. The Valkyries have assembled. We are ready for immediate departure. I guess it's time. Take care. We'll see you soon. It's been a week, and I can't shake this feeling that there's something else coming our way. And that whatever it is, will mess up my life in this new world! You're incredible, Seiichi! There's no disturbance in the flow of your magic! Wow, you really think so? That's great! You've come a long way! You'll certainly acquire the control skill soon. Nice! It wasn't that long ago. I could barely keep a spell in check. I was starting to become a real monster there. New skill. This is it! Endless hell. Acquired. Huh? What kind of nonsense endgame skill is that? How is it this hard to learn something as basic as control? <sighs> At this rate, I'm gonna be so OP, I'll never hey, be able to go back are you to feeling normal. Alright, <laughs> <Okay, okay, laughs> Yo! Okay, working hard okay. or hardly working! Hold on! That sounds like. Gussel! Eris! It's been a minute! <laughs> Fancy meeting you here, Seiichi! What brings you to the castle? We were escorting this man to see his royal majesty. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh! oh my god! You're the holy mage Barnabas, aren't you? Please, you can call me Barna. <laughs> A pleasure to meet you, my young man. Yeah, nice to meet you too. So, who is this guy again? <clears throat> what? Have you been living under a rock? He's the Barnabas, the greatest magician of all time! Master of countless mystic arts! Oh, cool. Wow, I can't believe it's you! See? I bought multiple copies of your photo essays! One to read, one to collect, and one for sharing! Calm down, you nerd! <laughs> My, aren't you passionate, Mr. Handsome Ice Mage? But flattery won't get you anywhere. Can it be? Does the Holy Mage Barnabas know who I am? I do. Your talent has preceded you, my boy. You have no idea what it means to hear you say that! My life was one lived without a single regret! Oh! You're the supreme ruler of the century's end? Hey, I've heard that quote. Now, when was it again? During that grand champion's retirement party, I think, but I can't seem to recall his stage name. Kisano, Kisano Sa, Kisano So, Kisano Say. No, wait. Don't worry, I'll remember it. Right? That's not what I'm worried about. It sounds like they're talking oh, about a champion sumo wrestler from Kisano back home. Sato. Did he come to this world too? Yo! Nobody cares, all right? Gussel and Eris! It's wonderful to have you. Long time no see! Don't you mean long time no breach? <laughs> Put those apps away! Ah, you never were one to pass up the chance to strut your stuff. <laughs> There's something seriously wrong with you people. Come on, Gussel, you greet the king with long time no bridge? Uh, you really should have gone with long time no sh. It's deferential! Put that thing away! Kids, watch this show! I see you're still feathering your own unique skill set, Eris. Mm. And how have you been doing all these years, oh. my old student? What? What a surprise! I wasn't expecting you! Uh, I apologize for my state. I should never have stood higher than you. <laughs> You're the head of an entire kingdom, my boy. There's no need for such formality. N nonsense! You deserve my respect. So what's the story between Rons and the old holy dude? Barnabas is His Majesty's former teacher. Someone! Bring Barnabas a chair! Here you go! I think you'll like it! Hey! I said to quit it with that stuff! <laughs> uh -huh. Oh my goodness! This is delightful! <laughs> now then, teacher. What brings you to my hall today? Uh, I'm here to discuss my academy. <sighs> Wait, he has an academy? I guess that makes sense. Yes. 
Barbador Magic Academy. Though technically, he's the principal. Walk the halls anymore without the other students making some kind of scene. It has to be because of Kisaragi and his cronies. This doesn't bode well for us. Teacher, I'm assuming this is about the heroes the Kaiser Empire recently enrolled in your academy, correct? Indeed. Ever since those heroes from another world arrived, they've managed to stir up quite a bit of trouble. Did he say another world? That means. It's them! Sire! Huh? Please forgive my impertinence. I have a message for you that cannot wait! Tell me. A horde of monsters. They're in the forest nearby. It looks like they're gearing up for an invasion. Hmm. So it begins. How many of them are there? Sire, we estimate 5,000. <gasps> and from what we can tell, all of them are boss level. No. 5,000 boss-level monsters? And what of their numbers? Am I mistaken or is this nation not the home of the mighty Valkyries? That's the problem. They're not here. What is this? They're literally covering the entire landscape. And they all look to be incredibly strong. <sighs> it's unheard of for the servants of darkness to amass like this. Something's wrong. I agree. Before you arrived, I took out a good number of them. But as one fell, more would spring up in its place. I see. So our best bet is to overwhelm them, and not give them a chance to recover. Right. We can hold nothing back. And we won't stop until even their names are wiped from existence. Captain Louise, just say the word and the Valkyries will follow you into battle. We are ready. Then let's begin. Yes, the Water God's rapier. No other blade can come close to its deadly beauty. It's so enchanting! Here we go. Just trying to keep up. At the rate we're going, we'll wipe out these monsters in no time. Captain Luis! Mm -hmm. We've just received word. A massive horde of possible monsters is about to invade the capital. Oh no. What now? <laughs> Huzzah! Our plan to keep the Knight of Swords and the Black Paladin at the border is working as well as we'd hoped. Yes! And with the capital city left completely defenseless, it'll fall to our army in no time! Unfortunately, some unknown variables in the city could cause us trouble. Oh! They could certainly try, but with our overwhelming power and numbers, they'll only be delaying the inevitable! That is true. All that's left is for us to enjoy the show as Telbert falls, and all shall hail the great demon lord! <laughs> I've been an adventurer for a long time now, and I've never seen monsters organized like this. They're all boss level, too. This can't be natural. <laughs> I'm ready to smash! Yeah, okay. Mm. Now that I think about it, is Saria gonna fight in her human or gorilla form? 
things could get weird. get it. I'm scared too. Scared for Telbert and all our friends here and at the border. Master, I don't think you understand what's at stake here. Restaurants, street food, even the damn pony will all disappear if the monsters win. That's why you're scared? What's the point of living without good food? Ah! I refuse to live in such a world. I'll even kick a dog to death if it means I can have a good meal. <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. Big Brother Seiji? Mm -hmm. Oliga? That's right, I think I like this kingdom. It's where I can be happy with you and all your friends. I want to fight too. I can use my power to help keep everyone from getting hurt. Thank you, Oliga. But please, I need you to do something. What's that? Promise me this. You'll keep yourself safe too. Promise. And, um, one more thing. Hmm? When we're done, could I get a head pat? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a promise. <laughs> Stupid monsters! I'm gonna smash you up all good and dead! Let me at him! Let me at him! I'll murderize you all into tiny little pieces! I'm cracking the castle! Oh, I see. I see. That's quite a crowd down there. It looks like it's time to show them exactly what they're in for. Throwing a big f in your plans! Ah! Stop that! You're missing the best part! Now I want to see your part! Would you close your coat already? Could ah! you go back where you came from? Those punks think they can just mess with what's mine! Well, I've got news for them! I'm about to shatter your pelvises so hard, you'll be calling me daddy! They may all be insane, but at least they're on our side. <laughs> Our adventurer's guild is like no other. It is a haven for those wanting to live life according to their dreams. Like six games! Avarice, pleasure, nothing is off limits with us. Despite all the strife and scorn the world has thrown at us, we persevere in pursuing our bliss! Nothing can stop us from being our hedonistic selves! <laughs> <laughs> There they go again. Those kooks never know when too much is too much. Two arms! The monsters are beginning their march on Telbert! That sounds like our cue. All right, everyone, let's go give these creeps a Wimberg welcome! Yeah! Go, go, muscle! Seriously? Oh, yeah! My body burns with an awesome power. Cross it and be crushed. Let me show you. My justice! Spectacular muscle! Why are you rushing in all at once? I need to get down there and help! Not so uh, fast, Seiji. Uh, huh? Your friends will be fine, don't worry. Take a moment and see for yourself. <laughs> Get ready for one heck of a workout! A little distracted trying to make sure everyone has a seat at my performance. But enough showing off! It's time we get dangerous! No pain, no gain! 100% full power! Your strength that is beyond skill or technique! That is my total muscle power! Oh, wow! I had no idea Gussel was that strong. <laughs> Do you think he became guild master for his smarts? Now, my dirty little darling. Just a reminder, the safe word is annihilated. Not spoiled for you, naughty little thing! Only rat, 
Gone full Sentai. You try and stop me! Or anyone else from enjoying the pure love of milk play! You face my way! Now it's my show. Ah! Behold! You know that you can't look away! I'm surprised at how effective those perverts' attacks are. No! I'm gonna kill you so hard you'll wish you were dead! Come on, dude! That's way too heavy! As a knight of Kelbert, I won't let you pass! All right, Claude. About time someone normal showed up. Compared to that guild of misfits, these monsters are almost adorable! Excuse me? You're comparing my boys to monsters? Not directly. The heck? Why is he so cheeky talking like that and won't ram your gates? Got it? All right, folks, now it's our turn. Let's do the Rose Clan proud. <laughs> There's a whole clan of those guys? Now, Rose Clan coming at ya! <laughs> I'll admit that that was kind of cool. Oh my, aren't you a king among beasts? My sincerest apologies, but I can't let you live. I hope you'll understand. <laughs> I'd expect no less from a legendary assassin. Wait, he's not just some cafe owner with a fancy mustache? Well, he is now. <laughs> Saria, you okay? All right! Time to show what I can do! She can transform just her arm? Absolutely beautiful display of ice magic! That woke you up? Was that cool enough for you? That was amazing! Are you amazing? Anyone who tries to get in the way of me and Master's lunch walks has forfeited the right to live! Good, Alika. All right. I believe now is the moment to step in. Embrace your end, monsters! Fall to chaos reign! <laughs> it's as if there's no end to these creatures. All right. Unleashing Chaos Tornado! This is unreal. He's controlling it so it won't hit any of our allies. I may not be as spry as I used to be, but I can still help. Help? <laughs> You just wiped out half an army. Their ranks have been broken. All right. Everyone on me for one final thrust. <laughs> Guess I didn't have to do anything after all, huh? Emergency! Emergency! 
Another horde of monsters has appeared deep within the forest! And this one's all boss-grade monsters! No! This can't be! Who could gather that many powerful creatures? Scouts report the horde is double the size of the first! And it's on a direct path for Telbert! Just when we thought victory was in sight, we saw how dire our situation was. The battle for the future of Wimberg was about to begin, but were we ready? My name is Seiichi Hiragi. I'm a second year in high school. I ate some fruit of evolution in this crazy new world, and now I'm mad OP. And then there were monsters! They just came out of nowhere! We battled, and because all of my buddies are super strong, we dominated! Note the past tense use of the last word. After we dominated, we failed! How many enemies exist out here? Ah! What the crap is happening? Nothing makes sense in this stupid world! I can't believe how many of them there are. I didn't catch more than an occasional glimpse of an s rank monster in the last horde. And now... And now, they're spamming us with big s rank baddies exclusively? Yup. <laughs> No use. We're being pushed back. What should I do? I could probably create a wide range spell to defeat the monsters. Sounds good. But I would need to make sure that it can discriminate between enemies and allies. The question remaining then is how? Hey, that's it! Do you have an idea? I think I do. The ultimate spell that we need to bring them all down. Please go on, show us all your ultimate spell! Envision it. A spell that attacks a wide range from overhead. One that works as if it were God's judgment! You can do this. like I envisioned. Magic Judgment, a spell that calls the light of judgment down upon all that the user recognizes as harmful. Harmful, huh? But those two are... Oh, yes, please, please <laughs> give me more! I guess that makes sense. My bad, guys. Sorry. Does this mean that we won? That was unbelievable. Wiping out so many monsters in an instant? My master is amazing! We won! And we did it together! <laughs> what? How is this possible? You horrible monsters! You failed the great demon lord! Oh. Judgment! Seiichi, <laughs> that spell was incredible. <laughs> You have leveled up. No way! 
You have leveled up. You have leveled up. You have leveled up. You have leveled up. No, please don't! I don't need more power! Stop making me like I'm a human! You okay, Seiichi? Oh my, my dear, you have leveled up. What'd you call me? Since you have acquired an impressive quantity of skills, I have taken the liberty of combining the various categories and creating new skills that will be more powerful. Please, I honestly don't need more cheats. You're astounding, Seiichi. <sighs> Please continue to use your power in defense of our nation. I'll be back. I'm going to check in on the damage done to the walls. Let's take another bath together soon. A bath sounds good. Huh? Seiji! What happened? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, of course. You don't have to worry about me. You have to tell me what magic you were just using. Your status display can't be correct, can it? Well, uh... <laughs> Big Brother Seiji? Hey, you. What's up? Remember? You promised. Can I have my head pet now? Here you go. You did a fantastic job. Hey, Seiichi. You pet my head too? <laughs> no! No, I will not! Please forgive me. Weird thing to say. Uh, uh. What I meant to say was, will you come and teach at my academy? Huh? This sucks. Getting all those dirty looks still hurts. Seriously, isn't there something we can do about this? Huh? Is that... Seto? Well, I... Say it! Say it! So Seiichi the teacher, huh? Why, though? Why would you want me to teach for you? That spell you used, the one that wiped out all of those monsters, was your own original creation, wasn't it? Wow, so powerful yet so precise! A masterpiece! Something of that caliber is well beyond even me! It's transcendent! <laughs> Hold on a second, beyond the transcendent? So you're super transcendent! I can't believe my luck to have found such a person! But I wouldn't give to know the secrets of your great power! Look, I understand what you're trying to say, Barna, but... Well then, say you'll come to my academy and teach! I... I'm afraid I can't make that decision yet. Then why not? First off, I promised Louise. I told her I wouldn't leave the royal capital, that I'd stay till the Valkyries returned. <sighs> I suppose I understand. Second of all, I have friends here, and I don't want to part from them. <clears throat> Then allow me to present an incentive! Sorry if you come to the academy with you as a student! And that moody adventurer with the ice magic can come along as a fellow what? teacher! That young lady who kicked the monsters away can join as either a student or a martial arts coach! And that sweet little girl can also accompany you! You're going to need a good assistant out there! If you're willing to do all that for us, then I guess I'm not opposed to giving it a try. I am 100% on board with everything! Going to an academy sounds fun! I don't really mind going either. I belong by your side after all, wherever that may turn out to be. As a donkey or a woman, I am your faithful protector. I will continue to follow you any place you choose to go. Hmm? If Big Brother Seiji and the others are going, I want to go too! Well then, it's settled. After Louise returns, we'll all be heading to the academy. How does that sound? Sounds good. Let's do it! I, I can't, can't wait! wait. It feels surreal. I'll have a school life again. Yeah. Hey, what an adventure! I think it'll be cool. I'll have Sari and the others there with me. This is so exciting! We're eating together, just the two of us, like when we first met! Yeah, we've got time while we're waiting for Louise to get back. We had a few days before we needed to depart for the Academy. So, I decided to spend that time with each of them one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, yeah. I cleared it with all of them beforehand, of course. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting. It's fine, I wasn't waiting. Uh, uh... Huh? 
Is that her? Well, shall we go? Uh, yeah. Now that just leaves. Huh? Seichi! We're ready. I think Aliga should come with us today. What's got you thinking that? I just feel bad that she gets stuck staying behind while the rest of us go out. This time, I thought we could change things up a bit. You don't mind if we bring her along, do you? Of course not. What do you say, Aliga? Are you up for a day out? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm having fun already, Big Cesaria. Thank you. Really? I'm so glad! Um, Big Brother. Yeah? What's on your mind? Uh... through a lot. Yeah, we sure have, huh? Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you for falling in love with someone like me. Cuz I love you too. <laughs> You're welcome. That's sweet. <laughs> no! Did you uh, see what he did? <clears throat> he made her cry. You're a bad man, mister. Whatever you're doing, stop it. Hang on, but it's not like that. <laughs> 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 Stop sitting there and play with us! You sure? I won't go easy! I'm the one who should thank you, Tsuhichi. Warned ya! <laughs> <laughs> uh, whoa, what is that? I don't know, but it's very big. Hold on, I recognize that girl. Thank you all for waiting so patiently! Welcome! to the annual Charisty Painting Competition! I'm really excited to see this. And now, I would like to introduce our judge. That's right, everyone. It's the renowned master painter, Leon Berger. Wait, I feel like I've heard the name Berger before. I have no doubt that this year's artists have poured their hearts into these pieces, and I can't wait to view them. I hope you're all ready. It's time to move on to the judging. First, we have a talented artist who has won countless art competitions. Clay Burger! Oh, that's right. Clay said his last name was Burger, didn't he? And now for my title entry, I call it my very own work of art! What is with that painting? Wow, Seiichi, that's impressive. Who knew you had such artistic mm. friends? What a beautiful yellow sun! I don't know what you're talking about. That looks like a delicious apple to me. Lune, you never change, do you? This piece was inspired art in the blazing passion that it makes me feel. An emotion too strong to be contained. It burns, just like the flames of a matchstick do. So I guess it's not a sun after all. Now it's time to introduce you to the final contestant. This is May Cherry! Please come forward. Wow, she's looking pretty nervous up there. Uh, hello, this is a piece of art that I made. What the? Wow. Oh man, no way. That is the most gallant figure I've ever seen. A true hero who is sure to become a legend in his own time. Goodness, that is one hot specimen. <laughs> to enter the competition. I hope my perception of him makes him proud. I guess she really did paint me. And for the title, I chose Hero. It's because of him I learned how important it is to face our fears. Thank you to the one who gave me courage. Why are my ears burning so bad? Well, that's it for the presentations, folks. All right. What do you say we get to work on this judging? Uh, uh, hello, Seiichi. 
congrats on winning first place. I couldn't have done it without you. Yeah, but I didn't really do anything, though. I, um, have some news. Hmm? The thing is, Master Leon came to see me. And, well, I'm going to go to Amoria to study painting in the City of Art. Wow, that is quite the opportunity. I agree, but it means saying goodbye to Tilbert and everyone I've come to know here. You know, for what it's worth, I'll miss you. Well, once I've completed all my studies in the Moria, do you think you'd sit for my first professional portrait? I'd be happy to, if you're sure that's what you want. Of course, I'm positive. Hey! <gasps> Grandpa Leon's been looking for you. Okay, I'll be right over soon. Well then, goodbye for now. Take care. Valkyries! The Valkyries have returned! Master, the battle is over. We've returned victorious. Welcome back. Okay, G, heard you saw some action Come while we were now. gone. Show oh, some manners. Oh. I heard from the messengers. They said you'll be going to the academy with Barna? I wish I could accompany you there, Master. Your duty is here, protecting the kingdom and its citizens. You could come and visit us, though. Yes. What's the deal, Christ? You're looking pretty down in the dumps over there. Ho <laughs> ho! Oh, it's you, Lester! Let me guess, the pity that's heaped failure upon failure has managed to fail yet again? Huh. How rude on Greya! <laughs> oh! My beloved apostles, do you mean to delay my resurrection? My apologies, Great One, but presently the apostles are scattered throughout the lands, working toward that purpose. They're in the process of gathering the despair that will be needed to sustain your life, Demon Lord. It's not oh. enough! <laughs> Offer me more elements of despair. Death, misfortune, and chaos. All pieces of darkness shall become my flesh and blood and bring about my return. Yes, Master! I'll show hell the, the great, great demon, demon lord! <laughs> bring the great devil back to life. Where will we find a source of despair rich enough to accomplish that? At Barbadoy Magic Academy. What? A school for brats? A school where children of royalty and aristocrats from all around the world are sent to study. Yes, imagine what would happen if suddenly those bright lives were snuffed out. <laughs> Sounds like we collect a huge load of despair. <laughs> <laughs> it's settled. We'll go with the full force of our demon lord order. For Say, you know him? Say, was it? It's possible. Was he summoned to this world too? I think there are a lot of students from our school here, so I figured there's a chance that you'd come across him, at least in passing. You never said why you're looking for him. The thing is, he doesn't have many friends, so he might be having trouble here. He saved me before, and I want to return the favor and help him this time. <clears throat> Anyway, if you don't mind, let's maybe keep an eye out for Say and let him know that Irene has been looking for him. Irene? Yeah, thanks. That's all. Uh, hey, wait! A guy named Say? Thank you. You've all taken really good care of me. There's a whole new adventure ahead of you. Best of luck! Master, I was fortunate to have you in my life, even for a short time. A teacher, huh? Well, don't worry, I'm sure that you'll be a good one, Seiichi. You're just saying things, aren't you? Something that you have plenty of experience with. Remember, Seiichi! No matter what hardships you face, your muscles will never betray you! Treat them well, and they'll protect you when you need them the most! My advice is simple. Turn all the pain into pleasure, and there's nothing the world can throw at you that you can't handle. Safe travels, and when you come back, you're welcome to visit the cafe anytime. Be careful out there. We wish you well, and look forward to you walking back through these gates. Thank you all so much. Time for us to get going. We'll miss you! Farewell. 
Take care, okay? This was the first town I visited when I got here. A clueless kid in a new world. Whatever happens next, I won't ever forget the time I spent in Telver. A vibrant place full of vibrant people. They touched my life in ways I never expected. I should say it more, but thank you. Are you gonna get all sappy on us now? We're the ones who are grateful for everything. In the soft Columbus night, mistletoe melodies could light. Snowflakes twirl to a silent tune underneath the